welcome to our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawk campaign, Omega Dawn, uh, and uh, the uh, the crew's mostly here. Well, no, actually the crew isn't mostly here. Um, half the crew is uh, not available today, roughly. So uh, a lot of our the guys who are here are playing two characters. So just be uh, just be aware, anyone watching, um, if the voices sound too similar, <laughs> that's the reason why. Uh, we rejoin our guys uh, just after they have fought off um, a bunch of uh, Humvee-like uh, ground vehicles. Um, and uh, did you guys get the vans repaired yet or not? The uh, Explorers repaired yet or not? Did you I make those rolls? So. No. Uh, so they now have to repair, uh, spend some time repairing the vehicles and hopefully keeping a lookout for any other um, aerial or ground-based attacks. Um, uh, they are, obviously, currently still on the planet of Alcazar. Uh, they're still investigating the um, destruction of the Cassidine Development Corporation's mining compound. Um, all evidence at this stage or is pointing towards the Streel Corporation, uh, which, is as, as, which is the number two megacorp uh, in the uh, frontier. And uh, not the first time you guys have uh, run into streal uh, uh, or streal machinations. Um, yeah, I think that covers things quite nicely still. Um, although, uh, I'm, one other thing I must remind you of is that uh, you guys are alone on this planet. Um, your your um, transport was chased off, apparently. Uh, and so there's no way off the planet until hopefully somebody comes back in uh, a few days, weeks, time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you are travelling across the planet to an unknown, uh, mysterious compound, uh, which um, is possibly where these vehicles and the air car that attacked you came from, possibly. Anything to add, anyone? Nope. Um, no. Uh, no. They're guilty of being suspicious. They're guilty of being suspicious, yes. Um, okay, so um, the sun is uh, high in the sky. Uh, it hasn't set for days, and it won't set for days, because uh, the uh, Alcazar is um, not quite tidally locked to its uh, parent, parent sun, um, but um, the days are something like four hundred. Uh, 4,000 standard days long, um, or 400, I can't remember, one of the two. It's a, a damn long time. Um, as you uh, go about repairing the two explorers, um, you do note that there are some uh, something circling in the sky overhead, um, based on your experience so far, and also on the um, briefing you got, they're probably sky strikes, um, but they're, e even with magna goggles, it's they're very hard to make out what they are, um, they're that far up and away, um, they're not directly overhead, but they're in the sky, um, so it's probably not a good idea to stray too far from the explorers, uh, because the briefing you got, if you remember correctly, was that um, the sky strikes tend to go after uh, smaller creatures or smaller objects than the explorers themselves, uh, i.e., a man crossing these uh, these mud flaps by himself would uh, would probably be attacked. So, what do you guys want to do apart from make the uh, to do the repairs? Anyone? Well, I assume we want to keep uh, while Ceres and Voc do the repairs. Other guys want to scavenge what they can. I think we might have already done that and keep keep a watch. Yeah, I recall taking a wedding band. Mm-hmm. All right, well, if you if you uh, both can... Uh, sorry, go on. I can't remember. Babu and I were wandering out to the explosions. We didn't find anything out there. It was all kind of blown up. Yeah, it was pretty well... Yeah, the only thing you found really was that, that, that piece of metal with the streel, streel logo on it. 
partially on it anyway. So that was no, nothing else worth salvaging as such. Um, and while you and Babu were out there, um, the the the, the, the sky shrikes definitely were paying more attention to you than uh, than, uh, than, than than the rest of the rest of the, the, the group. But you make it back though. You make it back to the rest of the group okay without being attacked. So if if uh, Voke and Ceres want to give me those repair rolls, please. How many do you want? Um just one, one per explorer, per, well, you know. I'll roll uh, the repairs first and then switch to Voke and do the assists. Okay. Mm-hmm. forgot to switch but those second ones okay. were uh vokes Vokes. yeah you know you got a critical fail on that first roll i know i did just didn't know if you noticed it or not I and mean, obviously yeah, what's life without a critical fail or two you uh and obviously you're keeping quiet about it on, on the grounds you're hoping i wouldn't notice am i right i don't know what happens <laughs> Hopefully I don't drop the explorer on my leg. Okay, roll me 2d10, please. Okay, not a problem. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Okay, so you you uh, you think you've got the vehicles repa the explorers repaired um, properly? Um, I'm assuming you want to continue on. Ease on down the road. Yep. Yep. Uh, continue our plan at regular cruising speed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, for
everybody good with the, just a default watch order? One and two, three yeah, and four, that, that five and six. Yeah, that was fine to me. All right. Let me just see if any um, nasty happens. Okay. Um, so nothing, uh, nothing comes calling in the middle of the, in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you spot a couple of sky strikes. Yes, the forest is around the place. Is around, but you don't. You know, there's there's movement all around in terms of the, the forest, but nothing nothing's attacking you uh, or anything else like that. Um, uh, when you when you all uh, get up for breakfast, inverted commas. Um, User Babu's, entered your channel. Babu reckons it says it's time for. Um, Who was that? That was just me. Ignore that. Okay. Um, Babu, Babu uh, thinks it's time to uh, try and uh, alleviate the, the general um, lack of sleep, uh, lack of sleep, lack of uh, darkness, stress, stress, and that on on everybody again. Oh yeah. Mm. Everyone's got penalties to their. Well, not everybody. A lot of people have got penalties to their. Um, to their uh, to their their general roles and demeanour because of the uh, because of the um, situation you're in. So who wants Leave to go first? Leave the cat had it, and then uh, so I'll roll for cat. Yeah. Well, Bab should probably start first, right? Heal thyself. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. And then roll for everybody else. Uh, which one was it? Psychopathology. Yeah, psychopathology. Ah, uh, this one's fun. Hey! Oh, he, well, he's cured for the time being. So he's fully cured now? He's got no problems? It's not like a minus being. five? Okay. No, yeah, for the time being. All right. Uh, I'll, just, I'll do it in order over the top. Uh, so, Vogue yep. will be next. Oh! Oh dear. <laughs> Ryan's gonna be happy about that. <laughs> Ryan for it. Yeah, rule is do no harm. <laughs> yeah, Vogue is um Vogue uh, Vogue's, uh, this is where you wanna this is where you want a green ship, isn't it? Um isn't it, uh, Babu? Oh yeah. Um uh Vogue already had a penalty, didn't he? Yeah, I, I don't remember, did. I think so. Was it minus it was minus ten, wasn't it? Uh, that sounds right. I don't think he got cured yesterday, which it, yeah. Uh, well, that's gonna that's gonna double that to minus twenty. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, you you you're basically sending him crazy. Uh, is what you did. Can Doc? you believe it? The yeah. sun never sets. Doesn't that just get you irritated? Oh wait, I'm not supposed mm. to say that. All right, uh, for Doc this time. Ooh. That's better. He's very no, you're, cured. You're very you're 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 completely you're completely okay. Cat or four cat? Cat's good. Jazz. Jazz is good. Cerise. I think this is apart from that critical fail. This is the best Abu's rolled on this. Don't I think. don't jinx yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Last one for Cerise. Ah, uh, so... Nope, failed. Alright, so minus five. Uh, two drivers are the... Yeah, it's minus... Uh, were you, were you alright yesterday, Cerise? I think you were. You were always... Yes. Yeah, in that case, it's minus five. Oh, that reminds me. Would you remind... Uh, would you... Re Dan, would you remind um, Ryan about the picture, please? His uh, yes. Character picture. He hasn't gotten back to me with that, about that yet. Um, so, yes, all right. So, uh, you ready to break camp and head on? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, definitely. Switching headphones, so. Yeah. All right, do I sound better now? 
Oh, except for that oh. echo. Yeah. Except for that echo, yeah. So you're only about 50k uh, driving based on the... User disconnected based, from your channel. Based on the, the route you guys mapped out. You're only about 50k, so it's only, you're only a, a couple of hours away from the unidentified settlement. Okay? Yep. Assuming cool, you're cool. going at cru assuming you're cruising at, at regular cruising speed for the for the um for the explorers. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming you are doing. Uh, 50k an hour. Yeah, well, actually, 50k an hour. You're only an hour away if you're on just on on regular roads, but <laughs> you're not on regular roads, so. Um. So yeah. So um, you drive for another hour or so through the forest, uh, and then you hit this uh, uh, marshland. I think it is. Is that what it is? Marshland. Uh, the key yeah. is too low res for us. No, it's plain, that. plain. It's plains. So then you hit this. Pl they hit the plains before you go back into the forest. That's okay. Um, so uh, crossing the plains uh, only takes. You know, half an hour, twenty minutes or more, if that. Uh, and then you're up over the that mo up over that mo race and uh, mountains, as case may be. I'll just zoom in this in a bit. Okay, so you cross these morasses, you, you cross the first line of morasses, uh, then through into the forest, and then you cross that, that mountain range. Um, it's still, you know, you've only been going, still only been going for a couple of hours, yeah, that one. And you get down into the forest again between, in, the, in the, this valley between the two, the two, uh, the two mountain ranges. When, uh, and, and you're driving through the trees, single file, um, uh, I believe Cerise was in front, and Jazz was sticking out of Cerise's hatch. Is that right? Yes, I believe so. And therefore, Cat was sticking out of Vokes' hatch, hatch in the back. I think it was the other way around. It was the other way around, was it? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, Cerise, Cat, Doc, and Babu. If you look at Explorer notes. That's okay. It's all good. Um, all of a sudden. From out of the top, out of the tr out of the trees, comes a hail of um, large um, nuts, pits, fruit pits. Um, you've seen the you've seen these fruit pits on the forest floor, the the Karaka fruit fruit pits. Well, they, they, there's a shower of these ones. They're being propelled at you. Um, uh, Takes you completely by surprise. Can't, couldn't, didn't see anything at all before it started. Um, for 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 cat and for uh, jazz, can I, you each take uh, d10 damage from the falling pits? Um, e, uh, suit suits and screens, skin suits and uh, inertia screens will protect you. But if you can each roll me d10 damage, thank you, cat, and one for jazz. That's a good Jess, time just roll that again. Once. You just roll that again, will you, Jess? Roll again. Just roll me a D10. Any d just. Wow. Okay. Just, no, don't, don't, I'm going blind. Um. So you each take a point of damage. No, thank you. That's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pits. <laughs> You forgot. You forgot the bang. On that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anywho, um, so you each take a point of damage, uh, a single point of damage, uh, less if you're wearing skin suits or inertia screens. You may, you know, adjust that as possible. Um, oh, can you take zero damage if you're wearing a skin suit? I thought you yeah, always took one. No, you, you, no, the, the skin suit will take the one. Oh, always, sweet. Skin, yeah. Um, what what do you guys want to do? I mean, the the noise is rather horrendous. It's like a it's like a really heavy hailstone, he, hail, 
storm on the metal explorers on the roof of the explorers um, the drivers can see uh, pits falling around them as well um, or being thrown around them whatever's happening um, but Doc and Babu all you can hear is this horrendous din so what does gun everybody want to do drive gun it, gun it. try to find cover somewhere is there a cover anywhere Well, well, you're in the you're in the forest, the trees. So you would have thought you would have had cover, but um, these these pits are coming from coming from the trees. Do we really? Do we feel like it's going to actually do any damage to the explorers, or we can just close the hatch and? No, you probably just close it. the hatch. Yeah, I'm actually going mean... to slow down to probably like two thirds of cruise speed because I'm, or maybe even half a cruise speed because I'm looking for some sort of ambush. Okay. Um, all right. So um, I need you. I need everybody to roll. In particular, I need Cat and Jazz to roll initiatives, please. Okay. Um, you you guys aren't quite quick enough uh, to get inside before you take another D10 damage. That's if you are ducking inside. Are you ducking inside? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. We've got the side okay. hatches that we can poke out, so. Well, you will start pack guns out of, yeah. Um, yeah, so I need you, need you two to roll me another, another, two D, another D10 damage each, please. And again, skin suits will protect. Uh, well, there's gun ports. The windows don't, windows can open, I suppose. Um, uh, so you, 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 manage, you do manage to scramble inside, uh, and you do manage to uh, get some... Um, uh, there's more of these uh, fruit pits hitting the um, hitting the uh, the the tops of explorers, but you do get inside you do get inside after taking that much uh, a few more shots, a few more hits. Um, you slow down, so you slow slow down, Cerise. You said. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want a search roll. Uh, yes, I do want. If you're looking out the windows or the, or the gun ports, that's not you. That's not Cat and Jazz. That's Cerise and Voke and Babu and Doc. Babu, yep. Um, it's the average of intuition and logic, isn't it? That's correct. Yeah. So 50, it, it Babs doesn't have a search thing happily on there. So what oh, am I trying right. to beat? Uh, Sixty-five. All right. So you're travelling at about eighty-five meters meters a turn, and you've got a maximum decel rate of forty meters a turn. How far do you want to decel? Uh, well, to half speed. So what you said, eighty to forty. So well, you're eighty minus 40, So we'll go to forty. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Well, hang on. Well, you're actually at eighty-five meters of a turn. Okay, well, I can only decelerate 40, so we're doing 45. Yeah, but you, well, you can decelerate harder than that, but you've got to take a crash test if you do. Well, you've no. got to take a driving test if you do. Nope. No, that's all right, just, just making sure you're on. And on the, and, and um, uh, so you put this decel to 40. Um, Voke's going to have to make a roll. Don't forget he's at minus 20. No, sorry, Voke doesn't have to, does not have to make a roll because he's only decelerating, he's only decelerating by 40 metres per turn, isn't he? So uh, you both deserve. Um, look, um, there's a, a, a further hail of of nuts, and then there's much. Um, you can hear actually through the through the 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 the, 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 the gun ports and the and the windows. Um, uh, you can hear uh, uh, much shrieking and chittering, um, almost like. Almost like a cross between spider monkeys and chimpanzees, um, but there's a definite there's a definite note of humour in the chittering, which is really unusual. Which is you know um, unusual. I uh, can does Babu's uh, psycho skills do they work towards animals or is it mainly like humanoid aliens? 
No, they Quite well, well. What's different? Between, what's different between an alien and, and an animal? Yeah, true. I'm just, wor I'm just wondering no, whether no, no, that's a fair question. Whether that's Babu question. would normally roll empathy right now and get get a gauge of what they might be. He can. Well, he can certainly. He can certainly attempt to do that. Yeah. There is a. Uh, there is a minus twenty alien or animal penalty. Yeah. Do these vehicles have an air horn? <laughs> <laughs> these, vehicles, these vehicles have a horn, yeah. Toot the horn! <laughs> well, let's see what Babu says. Babu's got no idea. Yeah, Babu's like... <laughs> Babu, Babu failed by 41. I don't know. If if you said they were... they If it came across as humorous... Um, what... what um, the well, no, the briefing the on the primates... That's the impression you get. Is the camera? It had a, had, had a humorous note to it. Um, so what was the question? So what you what did you just ask me? The briefing on the primates. Yes. What about the what about the briefing on the primates? Um, were they intelligent? Do, what what did it say about the primates? There were three main creatures. There there were the big land animals, the flying ones, and a primate. Um. All right. Hang on a sec. Let me. I just gotta find the briefing. Here it is. Uh, right. Um, uh, yes, the liqueur. L O L O double K U K U La Cuca. I can't. I never. I'm. I'm bad, very bad with other languages. Um, they were looked. They, they looked like a small Yazirian. Um, um, obviously a primate, apparently with some intelligence and a noted tendency towards pranks. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So yeah, okay, I'll yeah, I'll, right. I'll hit the Cerise will hit the horn just arc arc. <laughs> um the the shrieking it, the shrieking intensifies. Uh um uh, but uh, it, but it, it did w whatever it's making it is moving away from you. Okay, just continue on at half speed. For how long? Uh, ten minutes. Okay. I don't remember. I don't. I don't necessarily agree with that, Joe. You might. <laughs> From memory, it seems to be like that. But okay. Well, how many alien planets have you been on? Uh, Alternus. Three. This one and then yeah, the last one. And. Out of those three, I don't recall the Heliopes looking like Yuzirians, do you? Yeah, probably not the Heliopes. <laughs> but the other two and had primates. And I don't recall the Olmor looking like looking like Yuzirians. Uh, Volturnus, there, there was that other one in the trees. Actually, I vaguely remember. Corabunda. Yeah, I know. The Corabunda. Yeah. Well, I mean, most primates look like humans, don't they? Or Yuzirians? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're ugly like that. They don't have nice hard shells like me. Yes, yes, but you, but you can't, in, you can't inject ink, un, ink under your shell, can you? Who would want to? Humans, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Uh, and they so poison they themselves, like... and they call it amusement. They, uh, yeah, so do Barbe so do the, uh, so do, so do the, uh, the dralocytes. They poison themselves with steam bars. Remember? Oh. That stuff the, reeks. Uh, that stuff reeks. Um, for those for those watching at home, um, Dan sent me a, a little passage written by uh, a Vrusk on humans and a private joke. Not a private joke, but yeah, I'll post it somewhere where people can see it. I might even post it in the um, in the, uh, the the notes for this video when I put it on YouTube. Anyway, back to the game. All right. So after after about ten minutes, nothing else happens, uh, and you continue on. Yep. And go ahead and and. Return to cruise speed. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, you're about 
you get about um, I don't know 800 meters short of the next range of short of the next mountain range um, when Doc, your path I was going to say, can Sorry, I just Don. interject for a second? I uh, yeah, just yeah. thought anyone might be interested in some first aid. Now would be a good time to do it. Well, Is you can only give first aid to Cat because Cerise is in the other other van and you haven't stopped. Uh, Cat's with me. Jura oh, yeah, yeah. Jazz is with the other. Uh huh. Yeah, other van. Okay. So. Jazz is just down by three points at the moment. How far are you down, Cat? Two out of sixty, so yeah, okay. okay it's probably you guys are tough guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you guys poked your head back up out of the hatch, by the way? Yeah, After we may as well. Stop. If yeah. the hailstorm has uh, subsided, we will. Has the hailstorm started? Yes, the hailstorm has started. Has subsided. Yeah, I mean, it could have been worse. They could have been throwing poop instead of nuts, right? <laughs> True. Uh, your path through the huge tree trunks is suddenly blocked by a half a dozen lakuk. Lakuk. How would, you, how would you pronounce that, guys? L-O-double-K-U-K-U. Lukuku. Lukuku. That'll do. Lukuku. The furry... The, the, I was not too far off. The furry creatures are easily recognisable from the trivid image you saw in your briefing on... 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 on um, how many days ago? What day, days ago it was. Um, each creature stands about a metre and a half tall. And all six are standing on their hind legs. They are not holding anything at all in their ape-like hands. The Lokuku stand perfectly still, staring at you with wide, unblinking eyes. Um, I'm assuming you're stopping. Yeah, so Cerise stops and Voke pulls off, you know, a little bit to the right. Half a, okay. half a car length to the right. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you you stop everything's still. Um, Visitors. <laughs> the largest <laughs> one, the largest of the Lukuku, suddenly makes a harsh sound like grinding ground truck gears. The shadowy shapes of many other Lukuku are becoming visible in the forest on both sides of you, as well as in the trees above. Uh oh. Doc, Babu, this is your gun it. Wick. <laughs> gun it. Babu would try. Would like to try and communicate with them. Do his best. Or Babu's going to have. Babu's, Babu's either going to have to pop his head out the hatch or pop or, or exit the exit the uh, exit the the explorer. Uh, he will pop his head out the hatch. Right. Damn it, Doc! You're not a communicator. Damn it. Yes, thank you, Doc. <laughs> Because we can't pop two people out of the hatch, right? It's pretty no, small. No, you can't. Which, yeah, pretty, so yeah. Cat would swap with Babu, and Babu would be up and wanting to communicate with them peacefully so that we can move on through. All right. Um, the communication is going to help in a second, yeah? Uh, but what I really need off you is an empathize. Yep. Uh, can do. Let's Please. Hope it does better than before. Okay. Um, look, uh, you Babu determines that the attitude of the Lakuku is cautious and also somehow expectant. Cautious and expectant. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, so, with that information and your previous communication role, um, um, you end up um, I, I will allow you to use two word, uh, two, two word exchanges with the Luku. You, you personally, Babu. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Two word exchanges. Yes. Start off with we friend. Yeah, I was. Uh, that's the uh, yeah. We'll start off with the obvious. We friend. 
Why come? <laughs> oh, that's going to be funny. Oh, this is going to be good. I've been yeah, practicing yeah. all week. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Uh, uh, two words. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. 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 Banana's good. <laughs> Banana's we, good. <laughs> we explore. Okay. We explore is a good one. Okay. What explore? I would suggest uh, it's bad. I was going to say uh, Campment West. Uh, well, they're actually the Campment's actually south of you where you are. Or is it at like yeah, south? Oh, okay, so up there. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, count south. What south? Uh, I, Babu would point in the direction of where the we feel the settlement is. Bad men. Bad, sorry, uh, no, that's not true. Um, that's not true. Creature. It's three words. No, no, bad creature. <laughs> Sorry, bad creature. The word men, they wouldn't know the word men. That was, uh, that was what I slipped up. Bad creature. Uh, Babu would like to say, I guess, uh, we help. Free la cuckoo? Oh, that's interesting. The enemy of our enemy. Of course. Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. Yeah. I would. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I would ask how they are not free, in two words. Um, yeah. Well. What do you mean? You... Well, well. What What has happened to them? Like, why do they consider themselves not free? What are these bad entities doing to them? Kind right. of thing. Well, well, it's well, a yeah, prisoner. Two... Two, two words. Why? Two words, mate. Yeah. Two words. Why prisoner? Two words. Or what happened? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what happened? Yeah, that's a good one. Just trying to figure out what's what's gone wrong here. La cuckoo taken. Uh, where taken? La cuckoo. Bad creature. This is bad creatures. Uh, Babu would say down, down there, and points yeah, to the yeah. settlement. Yes, yes. Oh, you can't. I'm pointing. I'm pointing with the with the right hand. You can't see me pointing. Sorry. Uh, he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, La Cuckoo dig. La Cuckoo die. Bad juju. Oh, okay. Are they mining? That's to three words, Babu. I know that's to Babu. He can translate. Uh, digging rocks. Digging ground. Digging rocks. Digging river. What find? What found? Junk. Rubbish. Trash. And it's three lots to one word. <laughs> Babu, it sounds like they might be enslaving the Lokuku to uh, be their miners. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like it. Uh, we help. We free Lokuku. That's three words. I know, but you got away with three one <laughs> words. No, yeah, because they are three one words. It, 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 they were three. They were individu three individual, con three individual single word concepts. It happened to be the same concept, but that's beside the well, point. Well, okay. Then, well, Babu will say we save. Okay, that's good enough. See if they can help us. Maybe draw a map. Hang on a sec. Just give me, se give me a second. Um, bad place. 
You fight? We fight, yes. The Koku friends, you come. And he indicates, they, yeah, assuming it's, it's a he, he indicates um, that you come with him. Does he indicate that we follow in our vehicles or we have to get out? No, no, he just says you come. Okay, we will. I will relay this information uh, and we will aim to follow them. All right. Well. Sorry. You end up. He ends up leading you south about to there. It's not on your chosen path, obviously. Um, but he leads you to a grove of particularly tall kakari tr kakaya trees. Um, the grove—I mean, some of the, some of the grove has fallen. Uh, some of them are groves; they're just stumps. But the stumps and the and the living trees have all been hollowed out, um, and uh, each one um, is um, uh, each each one could hold could hold a couple of dozen lakuku, uh, and the trees appear to be hollowed out not by hum not by them but by just rotting. Um, and there's a vague odour of rum. That's interesting. <laughs> In the air. They might use a chemical process to hollow out the trees. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, so uh, this is obviously their village where they live. Um, there's uh, all sorts of Old, old and young um, thing around. Um, yes, that's possible, Voke. Um, um, I'm assuming you guys are going to want us to try and program your polyvox. Is that right? Polyvoxes. That would, is that right? That would be good. Yes. All right. Um, well, uh, the the obviously the. Um, you, you sit down with the council chief, whatever, you know, the, the, the elders, um, and you, uh, you're each bought a, um, 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 a cacao fruit that's rather soft and squishy to the, to the feel. Um, what do you want to do? Check it with the taxi ride gauge. Uh, it's mildly, um, it's mildly poisonous, but not enough to hurt you. Would we get Unless the same reading from alcohol? Uh, probably. Yep. <laughs> um, probably. Um, the uh, uh, the elders all tuck into theirs. Yep, Babu would jump in and do the same. He would be trying to follow etiquette. Yeah, what about... That's right, uh, it's rude to refuse a gift. What about everybody else? Yeah, we will we'll partake. Yeah, uh, it's definitely it's definitely fermented, it's definitely part rotten, it's definitely alcoholic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and rather pleasant. Um, I think last time Cat got drunk, magic happened. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, does anyone, does any, has anyone ever seen, it happens in northern Africa, uh, on the northern edge of the Sahara, on the southern edge of the Sahara, um, every year, there's a certain fruit tree that, f f in effect, ferments on the tree, and all the animals, the, the monkeys and the, and the elephants and everybody comes and eats, eats them, and get, they get roaring drunk, they get paralytically drunk. Have you ever seen a drunk elephant? It's rather amusing. 
Is that the name of the? Is that the name of the, sh the plant? Is it Doc? No, that area is just called Sahel. Oh, Sahel. Yeah. Okay, the Sahel area. Um, anyway, so yes, I, I saw I saw a Doco on it once, and it, it just stuck in my mind. Um, yeah. So obviously the um, obviously the these guys are intelligent enough to get Blotto. Um, they don't they don't get Blotto. Um, you, but you do you do feel a, a, a quite a pleasant by the time you finish in, finishing by the time you finish your fruit um, and it get, gets all over you by the way it's rather messy uh, and the nut is rather you know about the size of an avocado a full avocado um, by the time you so you imagine how big the fruit itself is uh, by the time you finish eating these things you, you, you've got a pretty good buzz on um, so uh, you sit and you talk and you and you you eat and you um, a couple of you fall asleep possibly and, and after about 25 hours of conversation the polyvoxes have got the language down right and you've got a bit of a hangover just to satisfy your curiosity it's marula fruit thank you marula fruit I knew it was uh, yeah marula fruit did you look at wiki did you yeah, the internet's kind of powerful. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Wikipedia or Google. I play a doctor on the internet. <laughs> Funny <laughs> that. Uh, so what? Do you, so what do you want to? What do you, now that communications has been fully established and you've, 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 <laughs> you've been drinking with these guys, so your bosom buddies, you know, you know what it's like. Um, apart from finding a cure for a hangover, what would you like to do? I think asking them a way into the settlement would be a good idea. Um, whether a, they a have any tips, a map, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Tell us about this place. This bad place. Okay, hang on a sec. Where your people are enslaved. Um, right. Well, they describe um, a compound uh, with towers in the corner and some sort of some sort of weapon in, in each tower. Um, within the compound, there is a well. Outside the compound, there apparently is a large cleared area. Uh, inside the compound, there is a single large building. Um, um, apparently, the compounds, from what from what you gather, and it's and you're not sure, you're going to have to have a look at this thing yourself. Uh, but apparently, there's some sort of um, there's some sort of uh, wire or some sort of mesh uh, netting around the compound that, that marks the perimeter of the compound um, that's twice as tall that, that's twice as tall as a liqueur look, look it says a lacuku sorry uh, and apparently there is um, uh, part of the compound that 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 uh, swings like a branch uh, in the wind uh, that's made of uh, the same material as your explorers apparently Windmill? No, no, that's not. Well, like, no, a, like crane a crane kind of thing. No, even that's not. Even even when that's not, not really what they're trying to get at. It, it, it's it's hard. They're not. They, it's hard to get across what they're getting at because they, they don't seem to have words for what they're trying to describe. It, they don't yeah. have what they're trying to. You know. Is it for a spaceship? Um, Is it a landing no. pad? No, no, they don't understand that. What when that they don't understand what you're asking. Right, right. Um, there's a large mound of, of, of uh, dirt that's been dug up to the west of the compound. Um, uh, and apparently the, they, the Lakuku prisoners and guards uh, muck around with the river. Looks like, it, from, what, from what they're trying to describe, it, they may be trying to, um, uh, they're, they're river mining. They're not digging deep. They're they're scraping, they're scraping heavy metals out of the riverbed, out of the riverbed. That makes um, sense. 
um, things like that. These are words that type of mining, and I just can't remember what it's called at the moment. Yeah, it was very common in the U.S. West in the 1800s. Yeah, it was. Same in Australia. Um, in the, during our gold rush. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's several hands worth of bad bad creatures, like you. Bad, b yeah. <coughs> several hands worth of uh, worth of Yazirians and humans. And um, um, you know, uh, dralocytes. Yeah, um, no, I can't, no dralocytes. Hang on, I think my phone's just going off. Oh, that's cool. Bad creatures are streal. Sorry about. That. Um, uh, so, if we show them the streal logo, do they recognise it? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, yep. Yeah, there's there's brust and dralocytes and Yazirians and humans. There's all four. There's all four. Um, there's all four um, races at the at, at the compound. Yep. Um, so yeah. Can we get a better number of how many and where they're at? How many are how many are guarding the Lokoku and how many are in the compound? Hang on. Uh, is it about a score? Uh, there's there's about uh, there's usually there's usually uh, about twenty, uh, roughly. Um, of these individuals uh, working uh, with their with their equipment, working somewhere, several either upstreams or upstream or downstream of the of the uh, of the compound. Obviously, they change location. Um, um, and. There's probably uh, that many. There's, there's probably that many again in the in the compound, because uh, apparently they uh, they they work constantly. They they have they they they, uh, they they have two shifts. Each one say ten hours each or whatever, um, something along those lines. Uh, and then there's and then there's the uh, then there's uh, more at more individuals at the compound. Um, how many mm -hmm. Lokoku? Lokoku. Um, at the moment, about uh, another about another shift. About another yeah about about another two dozen roughly. Um, if they're still alive, because they die quick. That's half the problem. Um, every couple of uh, every couple of days, you know, every ten days or so. Um, the 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 the, uh, the streal if it is the streal the streal compound people come and capture another half dozen or a dozen lokuku um, it's a pretty high turnover hmm, it might be prudent for us to wait for them to come out and then we can ambush their attempts at gathering more of them possibly no, the no. last oh sorry oh it's only two days ago. Yep. I was going to say, how many that. vehicles, how, or do they have more vehicles like ours, or ones like Bird? Uh, yeah, they seem to think, think yes, but they're not really sure. Um, they're not really sure, you know, um, numbers or types or whatever. Obviously, they've got heavy, heavy mining equipment, um, but, you know... Um, and they almost certainly have ground cars or ground trucks as well. Um, what about uh, uh, what? robots? No, no, not apparently. Babu or Doc, do you have any way that maybe these guys could help us overcome the 24 hours of constant daylight? That's a, that's going to be a big driver on Vogue. 
probably just keep giving you alcohol to you get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Well, it's been it, technically it's been. We, I mean, you've been going for at least twenty five hours getting the getting the the conversation going and the and the the, the things and that. So if you guys want to give me another, if uh, if Babu gives everybody another roll, please. Yep, I'll do does, it for him first, and then. Yep. Does it help if we put blackout curtains or something on one of the explorers to sleep in? Blackness. That will that will that will help, but it's not just the sunlight. It's the, it's the whole it's the whole planet's the, the gravity slightly out compared to what you normally will. You know, it, 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 it's a whole range of things um, okay. that all compound together. So. Well, is there some sort of dynamic cocktail I can put together to put someone out? Oh, you can knock someone out, but I mean, that, that just knocks them out. It won't necessarily take the psychological effects away. Well, they won't be exhausted, right? Well, it's not exhausted now. It's the psychological effect that's, that's causing the problem. The alienness. Focus cured. Jazz, Who didn't? you uh, you have minus four plus five for today. Okay. Uh, isn't that Cerise? Isn't that number five? Uh, Babu was first. So, Babu, Voke, Doc, Jazz. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, that is Cerise. So, yeah, sorry. Whichever way you want to do it, just tell us who. No, no, that was Jazz, uh, and yeah, Ceres, you're good. So Jazz, you got a, a plus five for today. Got it. If that's Babu the case, maybe Babu, waiting Babu should can't be reattempt done. that, can he? It's like no, it's not. Only, yeah, yeah. It's once per tw once per day. That's it. Now only having one person at a negative is probably as good as we're gonna get, because the next day everybody's got to roll again. Yeah, which is, I think, a reason maybe for action sooner rather than later, yeah? Yeah, yeah. sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, do they have, do the Lokuku have um, any more knowledge about how we might free their people? Uh, to wipe out the bad pe bad men? Yeah. Yeah, to wipe out the bad men. That's how you do it. But, uh... Uh, talk to them about what appears to be the fence. They said the mesh. Mm -hmm. the Does mesh it hurt mesh. if you yeah. touch that? Uh, unknown. But if you want to avoid it, there is a tunnel that leads underneath the tailings into the compound, apparently. Yeah, touching, touching the mesh is bad. Probably hurt. So where does this tunnel start, and do the bad men know about it? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> if they do, they don't guard it very well. Could use maybe um, a distraction, like a fire or something. Can we get oh, to the what? entrance without the bad men seeing us? Uh, possibly. Um, it's it, 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 the tunnel apparently snakes under the tailing pile, and enters into enters the compound. Um, so um, yeah. Um, so from I the west. I think that's our way in, guys. I don't know if all six of us want to go in. It means we don't have heavy weapons, but I don't know if that's okay. Or you can lug the heavy weapons. Yeah. You lug them, is you know, you know. Um, but I mean, you know, the if you're going, in a, yeah, I mean, you 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 you'll need to have a look at the look at this place properly. The, the descriptions that the like, you know, the descriptions that the Lokuku have given you aren't that detailed. Right. Um, 
you know, remember how we took the compound on Volturnus? Um, we led the attack, but then the natives helped us out. Maybe these guys could do a distraction. Yeah, look, they'll uh, they, they, they'll they they quite quickly agree to attack uh, the outside the compound at at a set time. Um, Aren't they going to get slaughtered by whatever automatic weaponry? Like there, there was pissed enough. There's enough of them, and they're pissed enough that they get that, that that that. Yes, they'll take casualties, but they're quite willing to attack. Okay, well, we're going to have to take out the heavy weapons. Because they're, that's their labor materials. Yeah, exactly. And it's more about drawing a distraction, like a, a riot in the whatever. I don't. Do they have any type of catapults or slingshots that they can nope. attack? Nope. 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 Spears. Fruit. Spears. Pits. And fruit pits. <laughs> Jazz. Would it be worth it to teach them how to use a sling? <coughs> probably yeah. not. Yeah. I mean, it's probably, I think what you're saying, like, in terms of distraction, not necessarily an all-out assault, but the distraction maybe to at least take their uh, attention away. Right. Well, yeah, I'm thinking with thinking a like sling... A fire. I'm thinking with a sling, they would have farther range, so they wouldn't have to get so close. Further. Well, I wonder how the mesh would react to being set on fire. Well, it's probably a steel chain link fence. But yeah, so if we can, if, if they're willing and we all head out with their warriors and us and our vehicles and we head south to where we can sp scout out the, the compound. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much more we can plan before we get there, as long as they're willing to come with us. Yeah, it sounds fine. else well the question becomes what's the pl what, what I know you're going scouting and that's a good idea the question I have is what's the p general objective plan to kill the streel <laughs> as far as the Lokuku are c concerned it's to free their people but I think for us it's to kill all the bad creatures yeah okay um, let's what, what what do you, what precisely is our mission again? Like, what are, what are we here to do from CDC? I think yes, we were to were. discover what happened to the outposts, and then you know, kind of suspect that there's, there's others, um, and then to shut down the the, robot, the rival company, if at all possible. Yeah. So yeah. basically, I think you know, if if we're just going to try and lay waste to their to their entire operation, there's jazz. Okay. I mean, from yeah. Kat's point of view, she would be very interested to see if we could find a way to disable their security, but that's going to be pretty heavily guarded. We're not going to be able to sneak in there and do that. So no, probably not. Well, yeah. maybe. This, tu this tunnel sounds interesting. Yeah, the tunnel yeah, the sounds interesting. How big is this tunnel? Like, is it like one person wide, tiny, or...? Well, one, well, apparently the Lakuku, uh, a couple of the Lakuku have escaped through it. Okay. Apparently. Which is why the Lakuku know it's there. It's how the yeah. Lakuku know it's there. So. There's also a risk of it being closed off or guarded. Um, if there the is. Uh, Drill Corp actually know about that. Well, yes. But I mean, it's part of the scouting you're going to have to do, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, here's so a I... thought. Uh, so, I, I, I know that delaying means we roll again, but if they're going to send part of their folks out to capture more natives, 
and then we wait until they dispatched part of that group then we make our move there's certainly going to be less of them to deal with at least at first well yes um, or, but I mean the other thing to think about if the if the Lakuku staged this um, distraction you'll have less people to deal with too yeah, and the longer we wait, the more little cuckoo who die that are prisoners. You make a compelling case. <laughs> I mean, if if we had unlimited amount of time, I would definitely pick them off one and two and three at a time and spend two or three months doing that. But I don't think that's I don't think that's what is fair to the little cuckoo. So are we okay with just getting in there and freeing them, and then if we're kind of outgunned, then retreating, or...? Well, we retreat if we have to, but our mission we're paid for is to retaliate and kill these guys. But actually, it's not to kill these guys, it's to disable the mining operation. Disable the mining operation, okay. Killing them will do that, but... Um, only until Streel, Streel um, reinforces the the operation. You've got to get rid of, you know. You've got I to will get point out you. that although I'm not violent, uh, disabling mining equipment that sounds like something the Doc would be happy to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, but uh, again, that would that wouldn't stop Streel from shipp shipping in more mining. That would not stop Streel from shipping in more mining equipment. Yeah, the only, w we've got to report back to our bosses, and I think we have to disable this system before we can. Well, we've got to use their their communication system. True. I mean, there's nothing to. I mean, we, we can shut down the operation temporarily, whether it be take out the personnel or some protection equipment. But ultimately, we can't stop the back right we'd have to go back to our employers and say, oh no but you could you, you could, you could do that. you could do if you work if you could think out how you could work out an, a way of making you could work out a way of causing enough damage that it's not not economically viable to come back streels a megacorp they work on the bottom line profit if, if, if you make if you make coming back significantly unprofitable However that may be, then yeah, that's the objective, isn't it? Well, let's see. Um, <laughs> one way might be okay. Well, the most obvious way that comes to Jazz's mind is you know our corporation sets up a military base and just makes it tough for anyone else. Yeah, to but it's, but it, yes. Yeah, but it's got to be economically viable. It's got what what the solution has to be economic, economically viable for CDC to come back though. Um, the other thought might be that if if Streel is reliant on slave labor, um, then we kind of set these guys up so that they can potentially defend themselves in the future, and then it strips um, Streel a source of labor. Possibly. But anyways, first things first, we'll, we're going to scout the place out, right? And then make yeah. see okay. might become more obvious. Yeah, I, I think the, the scouting that we probably need to do is figure out what these defenses are. Because uh, we've got magnet goggles, we should be able to scope that out. Uh, and then figure out the tunnel and the viability of entering via there. I think that, uh, and then just general things of what are the mining operation doing and what we can gather there. Okay. So, um, you make your way on foot, I'm assuming. Are you taking any of the heavy weapons with you? Just in case. Yeah, I'm going to take a rocket launcher and half the rounds. Ha I mean, how slow are we moving when we're way over encumbered? Oh, you'd be hardly moving at all. Yeah. If you, so you know, like if you're Cerise going, you're with going, all of her grenades is normally pretty encumbered as it is. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm leaving uh, behind my backpack. I'm just taking weapons. Yeah. 
Exactly. What about clips and stuff? And yeah, I'm taking grenades. that. I, but I'm I'm not going to be able to take all my grenades. Mm -hmm. But I think Vokes got room. I think Babu's got room if you leave the tech kits and that type of stuff. But that means we can't like pick any locks or repair anything. Uh, but that, that is true. We might need the t a tech kit among us. But because the heavy the heavy kit. weapons are like twenty kilograms. Yeah, they're they're really heavy. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they are. I mean, there's no way J Jazz is going to be able to carry out anything that heavy than this. Yeah, so like heavy weapons are that heavy. I figured I thought they were like eight. No, 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 no. The heavy weapons are. Yeah, I mean they're man portable, but that that all they are. You know what I mean? That's why they call them heavy. That's why they call them heavy. Uh, okay, generally, heavy when I was are every twenty. Yeah, rocket give me, put it this fifteen. Yeah, well, put it this way: the rocket launch, the rocket launch, the, it, similar to the Carl Gustav, I've actually carried one of those things through the bush in, during my army day, army reserve days, and you had a gun, you had a, an assistant who carried two or three missiles. That's all you had. That's all anyone could carry. Um, and in addition to the Carl Gustav, I had a pistol, and um, my regular pack with nothing in it, you know, virtually nothing in it. So, yeah, they, they, that's what that's what the loadout was. Okay. Okay, then I don't see how we can carry it, take them. So I think we leave them. Yeah, even Babu's pretty, pretty, uh, sort of uh, got a lot of stuff on him because he's carrying tech kits and everything for people, so. Mm. And spare medical supplies. So, yeah, I, I figured that we couldn't take... If we're not in vehicles, we don't have our heavy weapons with us. Uh, we we leave that till when Jazz gets power armor and he's like this robotic uh, thing of death. death and destruction. Yeah. <laughs> you mean you, you 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 mean a body tank? Yeah, yeah. What what I yeah what whatever the name is in this game, but yes, yeah. Yes, power armor. Power armor is as good as any. Um. Okay. So you make your way through the forest. Uh, down the edge of the, the mountain ridge. Um, it takes several hours, of course. Um, and you eventually come, come in sight of the, pardon me, the compound. I'll, try, I'll throw up a map in a moment, but I'm going to give you the outfit though. So, look, uh, the forest has been cleared away from the compound to a distance of about 100 metres on the north, east, and south sides. To the west, a huge low hill of tailings covers the ground between the compound and the river. All right. Your best approach would be from the west because the tailings hill is um, a lot closer to the, to the compound fence than the forest is. The trouble with coming that way is you've got to cover, you've got to get up the tailing, up and down the tailing, the, the, the tailings hill, and also there's the chance, there's the, possi the, the possibility that the uh, workers digging the river bed may be within visual sight, um, visual sight of you. At the moment, from the forest, from the northern forest edge, you cannot see. Um, the river very well, or and certainly anyone working on the river. Okay, Does that makes sense. Any questions? The tunnel no, was from the west, from the tail other side, the west side of the tailings too, right? Apparently, yes. That is that is what the locure told you. Right. So the compound, the compound. Uh, at each corner of the of the perimeter fence of the compound is a four meter tall tower. Looking through your magna goggles, you can see two machine guns and two machine gunners uh, in each uh, mounted in each tower, each of the four towers. Okay. Um, Do they look like they can cover the inside of the compound? Well, that's a good question. Um, because you asked me that, I was going to get you to give me a roll, but because you asked me that, I'll tell you now. Um, they, from where they're mounted on the edge of the uh, edge of the towers at the moment, no. 
could they be dismounted from the edge of the towers moved across the towers remounted yes they could probably okay. how long that would take that depends on that depends on on how they're set up and there's something you can't tell from this distance okay um, for for, in, for interest states, uh, the eight machine gunners, there are five Yazirians and three humans. Okay. Uh, there is a security fence surrounding the compound between the towers. Uh, the security fence is about three metres tall. All right. And... Yeah. Uh, the gates to the... side the gate to the side of the, the compound appears to be made of solid metal does the security fence look like it's um, electrified all right scanning very hard i'll get you to give me search rolls for those of you using magna goggles please to see if you can see whether it's hooked up or not sorry first one that's okay You've all got Magna goals? <laughs> yeah, Cat I, does. I do. Standard okay, equipment. Yeah, I do. All right, all good. We've all got um, comedy yeah. goggles that have like starlight and IR and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Several of you spot a um, a fuse box on the fence near the gate, uh, indicating that the fence is electrified. to me as a primary target but okay here is the compound okay. huh. uh, each square is five meters any uh, cameras or uh, no cameras no cameras. I'm assuming you're moving around. That you're, you're slowly circling the circling the. I am assuming you are slowly circling the compound from north to east to south to west, to get an idea of the. To get an idea of the layout, right? There is a ladder. There, up the side of the building. Okay. And there's a second ladder, there up the side of that building, up that side of that that wall. Okay. Okay. Do the Lakoku know where the tunnel comes out? Yes, somewhere down here. Somewhere down there. Somewhere in that area. And the electric box? Is there. On that fence line just there next to the wall next to the fence okay how tall is so the building um, most of the building is one story uh, however this building here is um, uh, shaped like a cooling tower which one the one with the orange yeah the one I'm pointing to I don't see your pointer okay. can't see my pointer that one there okay and this this door is made of metal uh what about that gate yeah yeah look uh maybe it maybe a heavy tank could knock it down but your explorer couldn't for example okay, and that door uh that door is a regular door is it a vehicle door it is a vehicle door that's a gate by the way that first one it's a gate, not a door, but hey, who's counting? No, but I meant the second, the one into the building, is that a vehicle garage? Yeah, that, that would probably be a vehicle garage, yes. Or something along those lines. It's certainly... Um, oh, the other thing I'd tell you, sorry, the other thing, uh, there is a... Double door there, too. I've drawn it right. Yep. And 
it, that double door. Do you see that double door? Yes, yeah, faintly. Yeah, it's not, it's not very well drawn. Uh, that one's the same type of double door as the, the, this one on the front here. And it's slightly bigger. So if we end up in this quadrant with the tunnel, gentlemen, I rather than go to one of the doors, um, Jazz, can you blow a hole in this wall? Not the cooling tower wall, but... Well, I will point out that blowing a hole in the cooling tower wall would, <laughs> would reduce the, the building's efficiency. Yeah, but we need entrance first, not complications. And what's the what's it fabbed out of? Is it just plastic? Yeah, it looks like pre it looks like prefab plast uh, plastic plaster. So jazz, you could blow a hole in that door, and we could go in that way. Do we know where the Lokuku are kept? No. Ca captive. Nope. Jazz, anybody have comments? Do, do the walls look like um, that they can be blown through? Well, anything can what be blown through. You put, an, you put an RTD-19 against them. Okay. Speaking of which, so how much have you got? Well, we've got some like stored away. I mean, you don't have a lot carried on. on yeah, but how, ma well, how, much have you, how, much, how much do you have access to? Uh, let's see. Um, in the cash which we picked up, it was 200 grams. Mm -hmm. And then let me see how much carrying person. Uh, I have a question then. We have these two large double doors, which in theory are for vehicles. Do we see any tracks? Wheel tracks? Uh... Oh, the whole compound, the whole compound's concrete floor, concreted. So the uh, vehicle tr the, there are vehicle tracks from the gate out, but the whole con the, f the floor of the compound is concrete. Wheeled, or, tracked, both? Uh, wheeled, no, they, 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 well, there's they, they look like wheel tracks from what you can see. Um, point 0.1 kg, point 0.1 kg is 10 grams, right? 100 grams. <laughs> 100, 100 grams. grams. So I think we've got 300 grams. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Can I get a sabotage roll off our engineer, please? Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was we probably don't want to take down the cooling tower because I assume we've got a nuclear reactor. Yeah, if we take down a cooling tower, we get, you know, a reactor that goes critical and well, well, we might want to do that if we don't want to be around. It may it may go critical. It may not. It depends on the on the type of reactor. If it's a it's a it depends on the type of power reactor inside. Yeah, if it's a molten and salt reactor, it'll just revert. But it'll just free. It'll just fuse, and and you won't blow it up. So it depends. You'll, and we aren't about to until you see that until the engineer, the nuclear engineer, or the engineer has a has a look. Right, fission, fusion, etc. Exactly. I think the close, I don't, there's no sabotage role, but there is a engineering civil. Yeah, okay. There is a sabotage, oh no, it's a different type, it's a different skill person, that's okay. Um, yeah, alright, well, uh, you're probably going to have, you, you, look, it's possible to destroy the, it's possible to destroy the reactor, to destroy the reactor, but it's going to take, it's going to take it, uh, all the, t all the TD-19 you've got, possibly. I wouldn't go spending any on blowing holes in walls. Yeah, I think reactors are easy enough to sabotage without explosives. Maybe. I think it means that that door is our pretty much access Objective. point. Yeah, possibly. You don't like going through the wall, huh? Well, we don't have enough, apparently, explosive to... Well, we could... Do, yeah, we can certainly go through the wall, just we might not have a safety remaining to take care of that. Do we... Uh, 
does does Jazz have a sense of how much it would take to blow a hole through these type of walls? Um, probably close to all you've got. Okay. You know, if you've only got three hundred grams, you know that's that's less than half a pound, I think, or just on half a pound. Yeah, I mean, I think if, if the reactor's nuclear or whatever, I think we could either sabotage the computer or just, you know, throw valves and stuff that it's going to overheat. I don't think we have to blow it up. That is, assuming there are no bad guys to fix it. Mm hmm That sounds yeah, about right. And was it 10 meter squares? Five. Five meter squares. Hmm. Uh, the other question is, is anyone going to assist in the diversion? That's what the doc was thinking, unless you guys want him there in case someone gets shot. We're going to get shot. Putting it this way, putting it this way, based on your experience attacking the Slave City 1 on on Volturnus, I mean, one of the things you did was take out the guard towers. Mm. That helped a lot. And don't forget, you still got two robots. Back oh, in I did board. forget about our robots. So Robots you know. working for us instead of against us? Huzzah! Mm. Um, so, I mean, you know, I mean, if, if, if the diversion were to take out the, at least two of the towers, say the two towers on, on the north side, for example, or maybe not, I don't know, um, if you attack from the east and take out two towers on that side, um, but, but two people with heavy weapons, two robots and the liqueur, for example, that would leave four people to infiltrate and sabotage the reactor and take out any people inside, of course. Yeah, perhaps the distraction might be kind of trying to focus. Uh, it, it, it might appear that they would be going for the gate, but in fact they would be in trying for the electric fence power source. Yeah, possibly. Um, Do we want to take although, out the reactor? Well, I, I do. Taking out the reactor would certainly fulfill your mission to CDC. Yeah, but how how what's the radiation going to do to the Lokuki? We've done well, that before. Well, that, 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 yeah, that only depends on what type of reactor it is. If it's a fu if it's a fusion reactor, then yeah, you're fried. If it's a fusion, you're probably all right. If it's a salt, if it's a molten, uh, molten salt, um, yeah, there won't be any radiation. I mean, we already got off the hook once for, you know, genocide. Yeah, well, how far are you, how far is the, I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, as I said, taking out the reactor would certainly fulfill your, rea fulfill your mission to CDC without, with, without any, uh, any questions at all. Do we think if we can kill everybody? Well, it depends how many there are, doesn't it? Well, there's apparently 40. I don't know how many of them are armed, but some of them are miners. Do you want to assume that the miners won't be um, combatants? No. Anyway, it's up to you guys, guys. It's up to you. Yeah, what do you want to do? It's what, what do you guys want to do? So, do we want to take out the reactor and and scram? Do we want to kill everybody? Do we want to take out the reactor and and try to free the Lokuku? Well, you don't know where the Lokuku are being held, for that, that for that matter. Correct, but that's the premise that they're helping us with. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're going to have a group doing distraction and another group infiltrate, um, 
happy to jazz, have jazz for the distraction group trying to shoot down the towers with heavy weaponry. Yeah, the trouble is you're the demolition expert. Well, that's assuming we want to load things up. But, I mean, well. Anyway, uh, uh, moving around to the west side of the compound, you're behind the behind the um, tailings hill. Um, you can see a, mi a mining opera a mining happening about six kilometres upstream. Um, the chances of, of them noticing you from that distance, considering they're concentrating on their work, is pretty pretty rare. But you can make out heavy machinery and. Uh, heavy heavy ground trucks and things like that um, What you don't see or what you can't make out even with the magna goggles is any lakuku With that mining party That's weird Maybe they're dead uh, the the single lakuku scout who's with you uh, points out the tunnel entrance um, Coming out of the tunnel entrance uh, is a number of uh, pipes about uh, 10 to 15 centimeters in diameter that's four to six inches uh, leading into the river are they an intake or a, can I can Voke or can Voke with his engineering understand what the pipes are for certainly could if he gives me an engineering role yeah temperature check on the pipe also might be Uh, yes, uh, they are both um, intake and out, intake and outflow. Um, the outflow is um, not boiling, but it's certainly warm, as in bath water warm. Um, and there's a grate over each pipe to stop anything coming in and out. Um, anything else you want to do? Yeah, is that indicative of a type of power system? It's indicative of a new, it's indicative of something that needs to be cooled. Right, but with the temperature differential and the and the mass flow rate, the thermodynamic flow rate, is that indicative of a? It's indicative of a reactor. Okay. Of some sort. At this moment. A couple of you get nervous and start checking out your toxi red garages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, there's not enough radiation. There's not enough radiation to worry about. It's slightly elevated, but certainly not enough to worry about. So it is probably nuclear power. Yeah. And a very efficient one if your if your radiation is that low. Or still have, spe have spent a lot of money to clean up the radiation. Feel free. Your choice. Yeah, so I don't choice. think we can blow it, guys. No. More importantly, yeah. think about it. The, think about it. Would Streel spend a lot of money on radiation filtering? No. No. And the amount of radiation is less than the amount of alcohol in the fruit you ate last night. Okay. On a, on a percentile basis. Okay, so it's not nuclear. No, it's nuclear. So it's just not necessarily, uh, and it's, it's not necessarily dirty. So if we were to uh, sabotage these intake or outtakes, wouldn't that um, pose a problem? No, someone come, Oh yeah, there's someone coming to fix it. Yeah, they'll have reserve tanks and whatnot, and safety systems will shut it down before it before it overloads, overheats. Not that it's not overloads. We overheats. couldn't do that. I mean, if if the towers were powered by lasers hooked into the power grid, that would be a good thing to take them offline. And yeah, maybe we want to maybe we want to take it offline anyways. Yeah, but maybe, but it's it's machine guns. Yeah, exactly. And who's to say there's a back, battery backup? 
that's only going to last so long. Yeah, but if I was building a compound on an alien planet without much, without chance of uh, resupply much, I'd make sure the backup lasted at least, you know, several days. Yeah, there's it's probably a diesel generator backup. Or something, who knows what it is. The bottom line is it'll last several days while you got the repairs done. Yeah, so or last several, uh, or last long enough to send a send a distress signal and get the get the distress signal here, you know, get the whatever here. So, so the um, we're gonna end up if we come in through the the tunnel, which I think the plan is, we're expected oh, to pop up in the bottom left corner. Yeah, the tunnel. You're gonna ha um, it's you're gonna have to crawl. You're gonna have to squirm through. I've got lots of legs. I'm just saying you're gonna have to squirm through it, which means which means you have to think very carefully about what equipment you're taking with you because you won't fit a backpack through, and you will not fit a heavy weapon through. You'll fit a rifle through, and maybe and grenades and things like that. But it's a matter of bulk. Uh, a backpack radio, a backpack power pack, for example. You may get stuck with a belt pack. You'd probably be all right with, yeah. You know, so. Mm, you have to think about it. Well, well the power maybe, maybe backpack you could probably push in front of you, right? Yeah, probably. Disconnected. Yeah. The, um, what, what's the alien race called again? The... The Lukuku. Lukuku. Yeah. How many of them are there to kind of assist with um, bringing down the outpost? Oh, a couple of hundred? So, what if we are the distractors, you know, taking out the towers and attacking? And they just stream in through the the hidden tunnel into the. Well, they wouldn't be able to stream. They wouldn't be able to stream in, and um, um, they wouldn't know how to disable anything or open doors or anything or things like that. Nah. They're pretty primitive. They just have to. They just have to attack. Attack who? Attack what? The personnel within the compound. Whoever comes out to defend. I think you'll find that. that hang on, just just hang on a sec. I think what we have to do is somehow maybe we use our robots to take out the uh, fuse box on the fence so that the Lokuku can attack at the fence. Uh, we've got to take out the towers. And I'm Agreed, thinking yeah. to get on the roof to do that. There's the two ladders up onto the roof, so there's something on the roof. Yeah, at least the tower to the southwest. Yeah, maybe we can take that tower and somebody can use that to the take building, out the other towers. Yeah, because the building will give us cover from the other three. No, it won't. Those towers are four meters tall, don't forget. Yeah, but how tall is the building? Uh, only three. Well, if I'm standing there, the tower to the... Oh, I thought you meant I thought I thought you meant from tower to tower. Like one tower couldn't fire on another tower. Is what no, I thought. No, no, we have to take out the southwest tower. But that's right. why I'm thinking going through that wall because then we avoid the other three towers. I agree. That seems to be the path of least resistance. Yeah. yeah the trouble is, the trouble is, going through that wall, you're going to use up all your explosive. But what else are we going to use the explosive for? And who knows, maybe there's more explosive inside or we, something else will present itself as something we can use to create more explosiveness. It's a mining camp. Okay, now this... There's also, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. always roll out critical miss yeah, and that on, will wait, cause wait, another wait, explosive. Wait, 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 back up a bit, back up a bit. It's a mining camp that's strip mining river. All right, there won't be any explosives around for that. Explosive is used for deep mining. Yep. Okay. Uh, secondly, um, uh, where were we? Secondly, um, whether there's, whether there is explosives in the compound or not, it, you've got no idea of knowing that. All right. Correct. But no, How I mean, I just do don't, that? we don't have anything that we have to blow up. Right. We don't have to blow up the reactor. 
Uh, no, you don't, unless there's no other way of disabling it. With our technician skills and our roles, we can screw it up. <laughs> yeah, but that's but the point I was trying to make. But screwing it up, screwing it up beneficially to, to is is not going to happen. I I understand. So, so uh, so then we end up having to kill everybody. If you guys want to blow your, if you guys want to try and blow your way through the wall, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. It's it's what everybody else wants to do. I mean, the way I look at it is, we get in. If we can't secure the compound, and we can't free the Lokoku then we have multiple options. We can do the reactor. I don't particularly like that idea, given what happened on Star Mist. Uh, you know, hang on, hang on, hang on. The reactor on Star Mist was a sapphire reactor, wasn't it? Wasn't it? You know. And the, secondly, the, the, in other words, it was a dirty reactor. The second thing is the, the reactors, the both reactors on on Star Mist were set to destruct by the sapphire. And their agent, not by you guys. Okay. Yep, I remember. Okay, good. Just making sure we're on the same page. Sorry, just making sure we're on the same page. I just had my microphone pushed away. Sorry. Yeah, I think so we're yeah. pretty much agreed on the plan of attack, though. It's to come in through the <coughs> southwest, through the tunnel and then secure the tower in the southwest, make our way to the wall, and gain entry that way. When you say secure the tower in the southwest, are we just basically, basically saying shoot, shoot them down, whoever's manning them? Yeah, I think so. Because there was the thought that to, for them to focus inward, they would have to at least pack up and reposition themselves. So they'd That's be at correct. a disadvantage if we, if we attack correct. them from the inside. And mm -hmm. I guess that would mean that the signal for the distraction attack would be the sound of the explosives going off. Or the sound well, of gunfire. And then what I would yeah, do is I would have our robots go with the Lokuku and, and give them commands to disable the fuse box on the fence. They can't. They don't have the necessary programming or skills. Okay. Base Destroy. programming. Base programming. The base Destroy programming, it. not... Um, Could we teach the Lakuku to disable the fuse no box? No chance. No chance. No chance. Yeah. No. But we can have the robots system. destroy the box, right? <sighs> well, I can attempt to. So the thing about the tunnel, but destroying right. the box may hang on. Destroying the box may not may not disable ele the electric fence though. No, but it's as good a plan as any. Yeah, it is. You could also put a technician out w with the distraction and then try and get the technician to to actually disable it with a di t with a disable role. Yeah, but that mm. means we've got to get more towers disabled. Yeah, means two more but I'm assuming, you're gonna, I'm, assuming you're going to be, I'm assuming you're going to be destroying the towers with, with rocket launchers, aren't you? We don't have heavy weapons. Not at the moment you don't, but there's no reason why we couldn't bring them up. I mean, it's part of the distraction. We, like, one of the people from Project Explorers back and bring in the heavy weapons and take them off the range, right? Um, but the thing about the tunnel, so once yeah, we could, come through the tunnel, once we come up through the tunnel, um... So the people on the southwest tower will presumably be able to see us, right? Because it just comes up through the ground or something like that. Oh, it can't, well, the, the pipes, the pipes flow out of it into the into the reactor building, into the reactor cooling tower building. No, the, the so, tunnel, the tunnel that the Lokuku are are telling us about. Yeah. Where does it yeah. pop up? Just in the ground. Pop up just in the ground. Pops so we up. pop up in the ground. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, it pops up. Now you know what you're looking for. Pops up. There. It's not that big okay. though. So it's it's basically kind of like a, a little hole in the ground, I assume. Yeah. With no cover. Out of which out of which pipes flow. Okay. 
So we pop up out of there. Um, we won't have our power backpacks um, strapped in. We might be able to push them through. So we're kind of going through one person at a time, very slowly through a choke point where presumably we'll get spotted by the people manning the tower. And Well, yeah, maybe we're... not because the guys manning the tower are looking outwards. Okay, possibly not. Um, so it would require stealth. Um, to kind of come out, and we'd be coming out one at a time, slowly have to uh, get our gear set up. Um, well, if you're taking your power backpacks, it would mean, it would mean plug it would mean slinging them over your shoulders one action and plugging them in one action. Right. So I think my point being is that the the distraction. Well, do we need the distraction to start happening before or after the the tunnel team? Well, the thinking after. is the distraction would yeah bring them to a to alert status right so yeah but they'd be looking outwards well not if the I mean if it if it all came from the north right you'd still be looking outwards you'd still be looking outwards on the ground well, okay I would still be looking outwards Clay occasionally glancing over my shoulder. On the grounds that 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 if there's a full attack and or uh, one wing one part of a full attack or or, part, or a diversionary attack, in which case I'd be looking outwards for the real attack. Yeah, if if the diversion happened, then you know obviously the the northeast tower would be kind of if that's what's being attacked, and they'd be looking out. But the southwest tower would probably also be looking out, uh, even more focused on looking out in case there's another wave of attacks coming from the southwest. Exactly. Now, I do have some nightfall grenades, and I have smoke grenades. So, if they see us, we can pop some of those to allow people to get out of the tunnels. Yeah, that would certainly work. The nightfall grenades that. last for two minutes. Mm -hmm. And don't forget... Even if they spot you, they've still got to uh, dis dismount their machine guns, move them across the tower, and remount them. Well, if they spot us, they probably would just use their own, assuming they have personal weapons, rifles or pistols. They might just resort Well, that's to an assumption you can make, whether it's true or not. Well, does it appear like they've got sidearms? No. Not on them. They don't have they don't have rifles slung and they don't have pistols holstered. Hardly. Okay, well, my, you know, just staring at it, my, my preference is stealth first and then distraction second. But I, I can understand why someone would prefer the opposite. Well, the question is, who's going inside the compound? Who's going to help with the with the distraction? Um, and again, there, and that, again, there's no reason why there's no reason why you couldn't drive the the explorers to within say two kilometres in the yeah, forest, um, and then hump the heavy weapon if you need to, or get the robots the, to hump the heavy weapons for God's sake. The um, the towers uh, just remind me again they're they're all they're all machine guns, right? Yes, there's there's four towers, two machine guns in each tower. And on any particular given approach, um, the machine guns would be, you'd be covered by at least two machine guns. Well. I mean, well, does I'm anyone prefer the distractor to go first? No, I think the stealth part first, and then once once uh, fire erupts, then the loco the lococo attack with the distraction. Why don't okay? Again, if you put one of your people out with the lococo and the robots, then there's no reason why you couldn't send a radio signal when you were ready for them to attack. Doc, would you be comfortable commanding the robots to attack or not? Yeah, okay. That that makes sense because uh, I'm not going to be much use, at least for combat, so. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if you would be comfortable command. And then, this, so the second question is, is do we try to neutralize those other towers um, from outside or from inside? And do we split up? And if you split up, who's going with whom? Well, yeah, we figure that out afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm tending to think. Uh, there's a uh, last time we did this, we split up, and it worked out fine. But I'm tending to think to stick together, but maybe that's not the right plan. You know. Well, last last time we did this, we all got up to heavy weaponry and. Uh, shot with that at the top of the roofs, right? Yeah. So it was a different kind of ball then. Yeah, it was a bigger compound too, don't forget. Yeah. The other, well, actually, oh, I wasn't here the last time you guys did this. So how did you guys do it? You just carried heavy weapons, or? No. So last time it was a much larger compound. There were two heavy gun emplacements on the roofs of two interior buildings. Uh, we split up into two teams, and each team went for one of those sets of heavy weapons. Um, but then how did you take them out? Did you take out from the outside using your own heavy weapons, or...? Uh, no, just... No, they went we, we climbed up and shot them from point-blank range. The heavy, we the heavy weapons that the guys went after weren't manned because they attacked at night when everyone was, just, everyone was asleep. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, Unfortunately, okay. it's 24 hours of the daylight, so, you know. And that's when I learned how much I loved grenades, because one of those heavy weapons was sitting over a barracks, and I just opened the hatch and dropped in a bunch of frags, and nobody came out. Well, just to throw one more bit of information out there, um, I was looking at the ranges of some of these weapons, um, and the heavy laser uh, is got a longer range than those machine guns. So. If we were to attack from, like, if the heavy laser were used to attack the emplacements from long range, that would be extreme for the machine gun. Might be able to try and snipe them out, sort of. The recoilless rifle, I think, is better even still. But we only have six shells left for the rifle. <laughs> What's the uh, range on the rocket launchers for the people who are experienced in gyro jets? Um, what was it? Hang on. The rocket actually? launchers. You've got that? Like they're the same as the machine guns. Oh, okay. It's just the recoilless rifle that has a ridiculous range. Yeah, yeah. The rocket launchers are small. The rocket launchers are uh, like um, Law sixty sixes. They're about. Um, actually, Ed, do you remember? Do you remember watching uh, uh, um, oh, Eddie Murphy film uh, with um, cops in LA? <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop Two. Everyone remember? Everyone remember? Everyone remember seeing that? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right. Right at the end, Billy. Uh, fires uh, a Law 66 into the back of a fleeing truck full of ammunition, which blows up. Do you remember that? Yep. That 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 is a law. That was a Law 66, LAW 66. Uh, that's the type of thing a rocket launcher is, um, right? Whereas the recoilless rifle is a proper big bazooka sits on his shoulder. I'm more remembering the uh, rocket launcher thing at the end of uh, Naked Gun. Where he pulls out that tiny little thing at the start, and then by the end of the sequence, no. he had this ridiculous turret that was moving around no, him in a chair. No, 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 no. no. So uh, I so have a question about the duration. How long is it going to take us to kind of wiggle, squiggle, crawl, climb, scratch through that through that tunnel? Several minutes. Yeah, so to me, guys, it, it sounds like the, 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 the who's ever going through that tunnel is gonna, the one that gets to make the final call. Oh, yeah, that would always be the case, I'm pretty sure. 
you, uh, you guys decide what the what, what the signal is and what the plan is, and then um, the distraction will happen after that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to wouldn't want to leave too many people out, but Voc and Doc could drive up one of the explorers. Voc, Doc, Doc could command the um, robots, and then. Uh, Vogue could just use the heavy weapon on the Explorer as a stationary target. He's not going to be real good with it, but he'd be part of the distraction. And it would be extreme range for the uh, uh, for the machine guns. It'd be part of the distraction to attack from outside while the other four people go inside. I think that works for me. Um, yeah, I I don't think I'd want the interior party being much smaller because if it goes pear shaped, it's going to go yeah. really bad if there's only two people in there or whatever. That's why well, I was thinking everybody would go. But if you we don't want everybody to go, then I think two outside's the minimum, right? Yeah. You could probably yeah. get the ex you could certainly get the explorer up to the edge of the forest, which is w just outside 100 meters. Okay. Which puts which puts it at short range for the recoilless rifle, puts it at medium range for the for a machine gun, um, puts it at medium range for the rocket launcher, um, yeah. So and, and the robots are armed with um, the robots have got laser rifles, I think. Heavy la yeah, the ri laser rifles, yeah. Laser rifles. Yeah, laser rifles. Um, which to start be, we start with start with would be right on, you know just at, just outside medium, but within a few within a few meters would put them in medium ranges, I assuming the robots are going to lead the charge as such. But that depends on how you program the robots. Uh, how bad an idea is it if we just all out assault them from the outside and just don't even send a team through the tunnel? Pretty bad. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> disable the fence. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you're going through the gate unless uh, there's no way you're going through the gate because uh, you haven't even seen any way of opening the gate yet. Um, you're only assuming the box you saw next to the next to the gate controls the electric fence. Because uh, it's on the inside. Of the, oh, by the way, it's on the inside of the fence. I must admit, uh, I didn't mention that. Did I? I don't think. Um, you don't know how many guards are inside. You don't know what they're armed with. And you'll be. F and as you all out assault, you'll be facing at least two machine guns, more likely four. Um, and then we'll see how long it takes the other the other two towers to get to get there together. Yeah. It kind of feels like um, I agree with Siri is there, like we should probably be all inside and everything else is a diversion and we don't want to split up too much. Because uh, if, we, if we can get the robots to attack from the outside, that's a pretty, that's a pretty huge distraction there. The robots are pretty tough. It is. Uh, but um, and, and, and again, adding, adding, a, adding a human, adding a, a, a biological or two, docked for example to control the robots, uh, in case anything goes wrong, because uh, and, and vote vote to man um, some sort of heavy weapon is certainly going to help. And so a four, on the a, a four inside, man, a four-man team's not a bad idea inside. On the inside, what I would do is I would have uh, Jazz go first. I would have Cerise go second. Jazz, as soon as and and everybody take a nightfall grenade. Uh, Jazz goes to the wall to blow a hole. Cerise turns and takes careful aim at the southwest guard tower and doesn't shoot until everybody's out. And then uh, uh, Babu and Cat, well, Cat also takes aim. Babu probably comes last. And I don't know if you've got a, uh, if you want to do a ranged weapon or if you want to go give Jazz Jazz's bodyguard, and then once he's ready to blow the hole, 
we shoot the guys in the southwest he blows the hole those two go in and go for the interior rooms and then cat and cerise go in and we head for the to the north end and eventually try to take the knock down the security fence And at what point do you trigger the do you trigger the outside attack? As soon as we start, as soon as we do the explosion, as soon as there's noise, the outside goes, just for confusion. Right. The right. robots the are programmed to shoot the out the guard towers. All right. So you want the you want the you want the robots. Okay. So you want the diversion to come in from the north, the west, or the south? Sorry, north, east, or south. Sorry. My, my preference is right there to the northeast. Well, that'll, so expose, that, that'll, expo that'll expose them to six machine guns. Uh, just four, the, the outside ones. Yeah, but if you're coming from the, if you come, if the, if the dis diversion comes from the northeast, you'll be exposed to the three towers that can see to the northeast. Right, but the but the northwest tower, that machine gun probably well, I guess they could move it, but the the one that's facing outwards to the west is going to have to be relocated. So, yeah, we could yeah, do the attack possible. from the due north. Or you do it from the due or you do it from due east. Yeah, or due east in case we get the fence down and all of that. And then the question so is, I was thinking so just because if there's two robots and then we get two shots at that tower. Oh, take those shots at that tower to start with, but you've still got the other two towers on the on the diagonal to worry about. Yeah, but I mean, we're not in a position where we get to, you know, kind of say, oh, okay, well, well, let's just, we'll use a Star Destroyer to attack that one and... No, I know. But that's why you're there to help direct the robots, isn't it? Which is why I'm proposing that we attack that tower. Right, okay. but attack cool. it from the east so that the we don't want the northwest tower to come into play. Attack that tower, but coming from the east is what I think is is, is what uh, Cerise is saying. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, because we want to keep the northwest tower out of it. So coming from the east, they attack that north. They attack that northeast tower, and then when that northeast tower goes down, shift your aim to the southeast tower. Right. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's just a question of tactics. To me, I I think two two shots at one tower is better than two shots at one tower with another tower coming online. But that's just my preference. Well, if we come from if we come from the east, they'll have two towers to attack us with. If we come from the northeast, they'll have three towers to respond with. So we want to come from one of the compass points, one of the uh, ordinal compass one points, because only two towers. Yeah, I only see four machine guns from my plan, but um, if the dungeon, the, the referee's telling me otherwise, then okay. Wait, there, there's, okay, there's you're two coming. machine guns at every corner, right? There's two machine guns at every corner. And the machine guns at every and the machine guns at every corner can can, can cover, you know, can swivel around and cover a lot of ground. What they can't do is swivel and cover inside the compound without being moved. Right, and so that's why if you're coming in from the northeast, you're exposed to three towers, six machine guns, as opposed to if you're coming in from the east, then that's two towers to four machine. Guns. Or yeah, again, north, as I said, I, also towers, I don't think math works that way, but again, it's not my call to make. Yeah, well, trust me, that's how it works. Okay. Um, yeah, um, as far as when the attack starts on the towers, my preference would be that um, the, that the, uh, the diversion opens fire first, and then Jazz will trigger the explosives. Yeah, we've got we've got Chronocom, so we can communicate when they open fire. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and one other thing just to bear in mind, because we never know how the mm -hmm. dice will roll, but there's always a chance of failure with the, with the demolition. So, you know, if it blows or doesn't blow, you know, there's, there's always that possibility. Mm -hmm. Then we swing around the south side and go in that door. Go up to B plane. Okay, that's yep. no problem. Okay, the only other thing you need to do is program the bots. Well, I think their existing program will allow some somebody to designate targets for them. Does it? I can't recall. Uh, I don't. I thought I had a note for it, but if I do, I didn't share it. Okay. Well, hang on. If you've got a note for it, I'll I can get to it. Give me a second. Campaign notes, here we go. Wow. Wow. I looked at this. Wow. <laughs> Not in there, but nice. Ah, robots, here we go. Not written down, not there. Oh, okay. So, a couple of a couple of uh, a couple of robot programming roles, please. When you get a moment. Sorry, does my voice go faint and then then um, yeah. go out again? Sorry about that, boys. Has anybody else been having trouble getting double clicks off the character sheet to work? No, mine was working before. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, program well enough. Um, um, so the robots will advance uh, on the uh, on the compound, firing at the designated targets of uh, either Voke or Doc Pero. on a separate frequency to the one you guys are going to be using for um, your voice comms. Okay. Does that sound fair? Sounds good. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to nominate Vogue for that. What, to, to, to direct the robots? I thought yeah, Vogue shooting at people is not really duck style. Well, okay. you're not shooting at people. You're telling a robot to take out a tower, aren't you? <laughs> that, that's your call. That's why I had asked that's earlier okay. if you were comfortable doing that, and if you're not, that's fine. Voke will do that. Well, if, I, if you're going to do that, are you going? To, if you're going, if you're not going to be directing the robots as such, are you going to then enter the compound with everybody else? Well, again, as, as a I combat said, medic. I, as a combat medic. I'm f flexible. I was hoping to target that hopeful electric box but I understand the need for attacking towers, and then we got distracted in arcs of fire and et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Well, do you want to do, you, do, you do that? I mean, you know, do you want to direct them towards that, that box? The, the, the question is, will that taking the box out take the fence out? That's the question. And that's something you won't know until you get there. Until the technician gets there, I should say. Or until you take the box out and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that's... I, I would take out the towers first, and then, you know, recoilless shell or a heavy laser or a rocket launcher shell can take out that box. Because I think the machine guns are going to cause too much death among the uh, our allies. Okay, yeah, I can use that as a motivation for wanting to, uh, quote, use suppressing fire on the tower, unquote. Okay. Thanks for asking, by the way. That's all right. I just want to know what you want to do. Um...
So, so, all right. So, so, has ever is, is the plan all set then? Well, the only um, thing I or the th question I have is, uh, does Voc want to stop farther than a hundred meters away? Well, the clearing's out to a hundred meters. All right. Right. Um, I don't know if there's a firing position with cover farther back, on a hill, what have you. No, probably not. Unless you want to park it on top of the Scrag Hill up to the west, but that's a bit over the top, isn't it? Yeah. Because I want to be to the east. Yeah, exactly. Anybody else have any other? Uh, and the answer, the answer to your question, Jazz, yes, yes, that's how the Loku have escaped in the past. They, they will be quite happy to go through the tunnel uh, out with you, not in. Oh, they won't come in with us, huh? Not to rescue no. their or fellow Lokoku? No, bad bad place. If they if they would have gone in, they would have gone in already, I'm sure, wouldn't you? Well, they may not have thought they'd stood a chance. They but may now, not still <laughs> with us. Mm. Well, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Alright. So you get a so plan set, robots are programmed. You get a good, good in inverted commas night's rest. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you've got to get the local, yeah. local have t teamed up on it. One more thing you need to do uh, in the morning is um, see if you all freak out. So I need some freak out rolls. By that you mean Babu trying to fix the freak out, right? Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yep, coming along. All right, we'll go in the usual order: Babu, Voke, Doc, Cat, Jazz, Series. Actually, hang on, do Babu uh, last? Because Babu, Babu's okay. Babu was okay. I was going to say, if you do Babu, do Babu last, because he's all right. Now he's got a minus five to all his other roles. Yeah, that's true. I really sort of switched over when he didn't have the. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Too late. Oh, nice. That 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 had that would have succeeded. That would have succeeded. Alright, so Babu and Voke, yeah. Yeah, both at minus five. Okay. Alright, so Jazz, can you give me a stealth roll, please, as you exit the tunnel inside the compound? What would be a stealth roll? Good question. I think that's a survive. Skills for the survival type mm -hmm. skill set that you're trying to use, which Jazz does not have. Then you roll you you roll it with a minus ten. Okay, I'll take the good of it. For using it unskilled. Minus a further 10 because of it being unskilled. So half of dex minus 15%, which puts me at 20. So this has to be 20 below to succeed. Mm hmm. And he succeeds. Yeah. That's very strange. And who was second through the tunnel? Ceres. Same please, Ceres. Um, just for the record, Jazz's albedo screen will be on as you're going through the tunnel. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, screen screen is on. What's it plugged into? Belt. Belt pack. Fine, just as long as I know what it's plugged into. And they're fully charged going in, by the way, gentlemen. Okay. Yep. You would have charged. You would have charged them off the explorers. All right. Who was third through? Uh, cat and then Babu, I believe. Uh, this is just a plain deck, so we've got to take the Harvard and then take the mm -hmm. Gadino. And if there's cover there behind the pipes running into the building? Oh, yeah, light cover. Yep. So, which way are you facing? I am facing west. Drawing a bead on that tower. Uh, given that, that that was cat and that should have been 35 minus 15, which pretty much means no chance of success, uh, that mm -hmm. is a fail. Yep, that's a fail. And so right. even worse. Mm -hmm. That's right. I just wanted to see what you could, what you rolled. I'm not sure. At, at th yeah, having that environmentalist have the only stealth skill and it being over in the psychosocial tree mm. seems very strange. It does. Um, <laughs> it does. But that, that's the that's the game. As we said, I might change it. I might change Isn't it. Isn't the environmentalists and psionics house rules anyway? They're not part of the real game. Now the environmentalist, the environmentalist is is, is core, is canon core. The psych rules are uh, yeah, they're, they're, the psych rules are certainly um, house rules. Although the psych rules, well I thought, is um, Zebulon's guide. No? Psych rules is Zebulon's guide. Nope. No, it's the original Star Frontiers game had no psych rules at all. Um, but uh, the community put them, the community put a set together, um, uh, which worked re which worked really well and seemed to work, seemed to work because psychonics psych is one of those staples of sci-fi, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, all right. So you were going where? You were going where? Um, Jazz, and we'll 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 I won't I won't get you to roll initiative, but we'll 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 convert it into combat rounds, okay? For movement purposes, <laughs> each square is five meters. Don't forget. So, one movement, one one action, please. All right. Um. So, we kind of walk. So soon, just walking. Speed for stealth. Um, so 13 meters. So Jazz will just basically move towards the wall that we said we're going to blow a hole in. Um, uh -huh. um, Cerise, remind me, are we trying to blow the wall that's facing south or the wall that's facing west? That one? Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's 10, about 10 meters. Okay, um, Babu, are you doing anything? Uh, Babu will be uh, just coming up behind Jazz uh, to be his sort of rear guard, since he's right. melee. Oh. He'll have his force Did... axe in hand. Sorry, quick question. Did we already hook up our power backpacks or not yet? Because we'll do that before yes. we start moving. Yes, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I assume one person per round is coming out, so Jazz came out first and then... And headed north, and then me. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, so, sorry. What are you doing, Cerise? Then? So I'm taking a bead on that tower. I don't know. Can I see the backs okay. of the two people there? What can I do? Uh, yeah. From that, from this distance, um, you can see the backs of their heads, backs of their their backs. You can't see the their lower half. So they've got half cover, partial cover, just from the edge of the tower and the fact that you're on a, on an angle and all the rest of it. But they're only four meters tall, and they're 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 odd meters away. So the angle is such that you can see the you can see the backs. Right. 
right. So oh, sorry. I'm waiting to see if, if they one of them turns around and looks at us. I'm going to shoot them. All right. It's a pity Babu doesn't move too fast. Otherwise, he'd be real keen to get up there and force axe them in the back of the head. Yeah, but he doesn't <laughs> move too fast. Okay. Uh, so, Cat, what do you think? Uh, the plan was for us to uh, um, take careful aim at the turret that we could see. So, uh, right. she'll do the same thing. All right. And how far uh, does Babu move in around? Stealthily? Uh, Good question. Uh, let me get his walk speed. Uh, walk per turn is 7.5. I could roll faster than that. Yes, but you are <laughs> the fastest moving creature around, and the boo is the slowest. I'm the fastest walker. Yeah, right. You're the fastest full stop. So that's that's uh, one of the benefits running. of being a... Aren't you? Should be. No, I think that, well, because of my ability. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, is, um, it has Cat got line of sight enough on both of the people up in the tower that when push comes to shove, she can fire a burst on the tower? Like... How big is the platform up there? Would a burst hit both oh, of yeah, them? Oh, a burst, a burst would hit both of them, yeah. Certainly, certainly within two metres of each other. Yeah, cool. That'd be the plan. Just before things go to... Yes, uh, move your selector from single shot to burst, eh? Yes. They, they're certainly going to burst on you if they get a chance. Jazz, you make the wall. Alright. Get to the wall. What's the range on the burst? What do you mean? It's normal. Yeah, no, no, I no, meant how normal. how close together do the targets have to be? They've got to be within two meters of each other. Okay, because I think or we're five meters, meters of, apart, oh. right? You guys are five meters apart at the moment, yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure we're safe. That's all right. Machine guns fire bursts anyway, so you're going to get ki yeah. All right, so Babu, are you going to follow up? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the burst doesn't really make a difference when it's 10d10 coming your way. It's going to hurt either way. <laughs> In fact, you're better off having a burst because a single burst, the, 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 the dice get divided amongst everybody. So if you were closer, it'd only be 5d10 each instead of a 10d10 on one. Didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, and no. Babs, you're probably going to want to go to the side just so you're out of the. So you're clear for the explosion. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, he just can't right. move that fast, so he's catching up. <laughs> All right. So you want to you want to set this you want to set this uh, this um this uh, demolition charge, Cerise. And if so, how much demo how much do you want to use? Yeah. Sorry. Um. Okay. You've so got three hundred grams. I'm assuming you brought all of it with you with you. Yeah. So. I mean, how much does Jazz know by the slip of the wall? How much does he approximately require to go? Well, the wall uh, each, probably each, 50 gram, each 50 gram charge is 5d10 points of damage. Yeah. And the wall's but probably got about, the wall's probably got about uh, 100 stamina points worth of, worth of um, uh, uh, stru structural strength. Oh. Um, in that case, all we really need is one, two, three, That's four, probably five charges. Five charges. Like, that'll guarantee it, because each additional 50 is 25 points. Yeah, okay. five charges. So, yeah, 250 grams worth. 250 grams, yep. Okay. So, so I need you to set the charge for me. All right. Oh, uh, what are you using as a detonator? Um, let's see, I've got... I oh, know you've got it, but which one do you want to use? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. You probably want to give like timer. a 30 second timer so that Boat can pull the Explorer up. Well, yeah, I'm timer going to ask... Or I'm going to be asking... or radio signal? I'm going, to be, I'm going to be asking Boat to start firing before the charge actually goes off. Um, I 
think there's a modifier depending on which type of charge I use, right? Or which type of detonator I use. Uh, I'm, trying is. To find I'm trying to find that. It's on the demolition skill. You got it, Let's or you look it up? I'm looking at that. Uh, corner mm -hmm. console space. So I could just use a regular detonator. You could. Um, a regular detonator. I guess we'll just use a timer. Uh, that'll be easiest, I suppose. All right. Um, and the blast radius is going to be... Scrolling all around trying to find the information. Um, it's all right. So, the blast radius is going to be about four meters. All right, so we'll just well, let it five meters away, so. Yeah, so as long as we're mm -hmm. at least a, a square or two away, that's fine. Um, how long is each, each round again? Six seconds. Six seconds. So we'll set it for say three rounds, eighteen seconds. Mm -hmm. So so that should give us enough time to get clear, and then radio oh, sure. folk to begin shooting. Okay. And uh, the demolition. No! 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 <laughs> oh, actually, my set charge is just not that great. Here we go. <laughs> it's pretty much fifty-fifty. You're pretty sure you got worse, charge, right? Yeah. You're pretty sure you got the charge, right? Okay. Okay, and you push the and you set the charge, set it for fifteen seconds. Sorry, eighteen for seconds. Three, three for rounds. Three rounds. Yeah. Three rounds. All right. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start needing initiative of everybody, please. Now. Give please. Babu enough time to hit the wall. <laughs> what was that for? Babu so the other way. That should have been. Intuition. Oh, I thought it was initiative. Oops. Initiative? No, it's intuition you just rolled in. <laughs> okay. So, Jazz, you're, you're first. What do you want to do? What's your first action? Move away. Okay. At what speed? Stealth speed. Stealth speed, okay. So just regular walking. Okay. With um with the with this laser rifle in hand now. Uh-huh. Uh and then uh fifteen uh, then it's dock on twelve, but you don't know what's happening yet. You're gonna have you're gonna have to hold dock. Yeah, we're waiting for the go. Mm-hmm. Uh then it's Cerise on nine. What are you doing? I'm going to wait. You're going to hold, are you? Yeah, hold. Okay. Uh, Bo, uh, Cat on eight. Uh, Cat doesn't know anything. She's looking at the tower and hasn't so you're been holding mentioned. As well, are you? Yeah. Yep. She'd be holding. Uh, and then Voke on nine. You're also holding because you uh, don't know what's going on. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, where's Babu? Oh, he's there. He's five. got a five. Five. And what's he doing? Uh, he doing? So he just saw Jazz stand back, did he? He just saw Jazz yeah. walk away very quickly. He saw yep. Jazz bend down, set the charge, and then walk away. Sneak okay. Away. Ah, okay, so this isn't a shape charge where we can just stand right beside it and then go no, straight in. No, no chance. Sorry, no, no. This That's is a, a, that this would be is TD more 19. of a... As opposed yeah, okay. to uh, TD twenty. Well, we don't have that one. Yeah. Okay. Have charge. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Babu realizing his mistake is going to waddle back in the other direction. <laughs> back to there. 
Yes, is that right? That's that sounds fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, fair enough. All right, and issues again, please, people. Can we talk out of out of turn, out of initiative? Uh, only uh, um, only single words or double, you know, like really, you know, go go go, something like that. Yeah, but, that's um, at the beginning of this this role, uh, round. Jasper right, say to invoke. Go, go, go. All right. Well, you've had, you've already had, you've already had an action. So it is combat. So that's fine. So yes, yeah, so over the radio uh, to um, Voke and Doc, you hear go, go, go. All right. So first up, Voke, you have the initiative. What do you want to do? So he pulls the explorer up into its, you know, Function. out of the tr to the edge of the tree line to where he's his firing right. position. And he stops. So you're just, out, you're just outside 100 metres. Yep. Okay, that's fine. And stops. Yeah, and then he's going to go man the weapon on top. Okay. And, and tell that's Doc, it. send the robots. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, Cat, you're next. Cat? Well, I... Uh... <laughs> I uh, pushed the push to talk button on my other keyboard, which didn't okay. quite do the thing. Uh, yeah, that won't work. Um, she she doesn't know how long this boom is going to take, does she? Nope, she does not know. She has not been informed. All she has been told is go, go, go. Even mm -hmm. though the boom is no, the boom both. is not going to happen for like two more rounds. We don't um, know how long so, it's going to take. Yeah. Uh, well, I, the plan was for her to fire on the tower when she got told to go. It's fine. Uh, no, the go, go, go was to Volk and to Doc. Right? Yeah, but... The you, distraction yeah, first. Then boom. I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to roleplay this well. In, uh, it I know feels, you are, and I'm going to, it feel, I'm going it to reward like you I've, to get it right. It feels like I've been told to go, go, go. like, And I would be firing a burst on the tower right now. Okay. Because um, I don't know. I, for all I know, the it's gonna go boom straight away. We're gonna fire and then run straight in, uh, and we're we're being distracted. Uh, yep. I, I, well, I, except I, that we talked about doing the distraction first, then blowing things up, right? But go for it. Go for it. Automatic rifle. Yeah. Short range. Awesome. Uh, partial cover makes it uh, plus 10. The burst probably uh, cancels that back out again. The burst is plus well, 20, so... Oh, okay, than... so... You're, yeah. yeah, so, but you still it, so, yeah. Let me so just put all these on. Uh, so, soft cover, you said? Uh, well, half cover. So, yeah, minus 10. Minus 10, whatever the minus 10 cover is. Yep, uh, cool. Uh, yep, projectile weapons... Automatic rifle, full clip. Half clip. Hey? Half. Oh, yeah, the clip is full now, but burst will make it half clip. Yeah, that's what I bought there, yeah. So it's 6d10, six, six or 3d10 three, three each, if you succeed in hitting. No, you don't. Oh, succeed in that's hitting. a good time for that to happen, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? That actually, actually, that might actually save your ass. Because your gun has your your rifle is basically not, um, critical failed and jammed. Now the only question is, does it explode? Oh God, you are lucky. You are so lucky. So cat goes to squeeze the trigger. Nothing happens, and you've got a you've got a jammed rifle. That sounds like a pretty good result. <laughs> <laughs> Babu, you're up. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, he will be holding because there's no one to hit with his force axe, but he is holding it very eagerly, uh, right. ready for, okay. for someone to hit. Make sure it's turned okay. on. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the next person to go would be Jazz. Uh, Jazz holds. Um, waiting for the distraction. So uh, Jazz will say as comes, waiting for your, waiting for the attack. All right, Doc, you're up. Okay, well I've heard the go, so we'll order the robots to engage. All right, give me a sec. R1 and R2. What did we decide in terms of what weapon Voke was going to be shooting? He did. The range? Uh, uh, I don't, you haven't decided, as far as I'm concerned. Whatever, whatever he's most proficient with, I suppose. Mm. Okay, so uh, Robot 1 and Robot 2... Uh, both move forward. Um, Projectile. So the recoilless. The recoilless, yeah. I can't find my robots. What do I do with my robots? Oh, I know what they are. Uh, both move forward and both take a shot at one of the guys in the northeast tower. Uh, missed and missed. Both robots missed, I'm afraid. Uh, and then we have um, uh, Doc just went then and then Cerise, I believe, is the last person to go this round. I'm just holding. You're holding. Okay. In that case, uh, fresh, initi fresh initiatives, please, people. Robbie and Raimi, hang on. Let me put them into the board. Let me put them into the thing. Raimi for Sam Raimi. Yeah, 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 I got it. So, hang on, I need to add. Let me get rid of him. Get rid of him. Um, I'm using the combat tracker, guys, too. So, can you guys copy your initiatives into the combat tracker yet? I don't think you can. Can you? Nope. No, it's all right. Targets Raimi? What are you targeting Raimi for? <laughs> That's been Cat's history in the past. She'll totally take out one of these robots accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> True. There we go. There's our guys. Da, 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 da. Right. Uh, Jazz got a 17. And Cat got a 14. And Vote got a 10. And Babu got an 8. Somebody hasn't rolled. And Doc got a 10. Where's your Cerise? Oh, it's there, sorry. You're not getting a 28. Your initiative. Ah. Yeah, you don't get soft cover, short range, uh, two short ranges, you don't get either of them, and you don't get the careful aim either. I was wondering what happened yeah. to all my modifiers. All right. That I so had set up. Raimi and. Whoopsie daisy. Raimi and gets.
Uh -huh. And uh -huh. no. That's better. Uh, and um, machine gunner one and machine gunner two in the northeast tower. Um, So, let's get this show on the road. Jazz. Uh, Jazz will hold. Okay. Cat. Cat is going to unjam her gun. Okay, give me an unjam gun roll, please. Uh, is that just a straight projectile? Yeah. Weapons roll? Yeah, yeah. Only just. Yeah. Um, lose a round out. Lose a round out of your magazine too, please. Lose a round. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, Robbie goes next. Firing and moving forward, and he misses again. That's shocking. Ramy. Ah, Ramy hits. Uh, for 24 points of damage. Okay, guy doesn't have any armor. That's unusual. So, any MG two has taken twenty four points of damage. Uh huh. That's Ramy's turn. Next, we've got Therese. Uh, holding. Okay. Uh. Sorry, just just reading something. Okay. Um, he uh, he uh, sorry the machine the um, first of the machine guns in the northeast tower uh, takes an aim at the um, robot with the machine gun. Not what I want. Ignore that. Oh, and misses very badly. Um, so yeah. Uh, Doc, you're next. Yeah, I guess Pardon we're me? just uh, cursing our terrible luck with these Nintendo controllers. <laughs> Fair enough. Vote. Um, shoots. I'm shooting at the tower, so is that considered a large and stationary target? Yes, it is. Okay, I did not see a um, heavy weapon modifier. It's minus 10. No, no, it doesn't exist. I haven't put it in, but it, it, it's, it's a minus 10 to hit. And if I remember right, for the recoilless rifle, this is short range? Um, should be. Hang on, where's the range? Where's my range table got to? Uh, recoilless rifle at this range. Yeah, it's definitely short. 
so inside 150 meters. Not the tens. So we have to add ten to this. Yeah. So it misses. That's a, mi that's a miss. Mark off another um, rocket, pl another round, please. Yep. And then he uh, starts to reload. I don't know if that's going to take all yeah, of yeah. the next round. It's going to take all of the next round. Yeah. Yep. Babu. Unless Doc, unless Doc helps him. Do you need help? Uh, if you're well, willing you to reload the weapon. Yeah, I'm it, far, it, I've convinced myself it, it's going to reduce casualties to the natives, so. All right. However, you have to justify yourself, right, mate? Babu! All right, Babu. Um, there's been no boom yet. Uh, there's no one to hit with his force axe. Um, he might just jump up against the wall a little bit, but yeah, that he otherwise is holding. Okay. Okay. Uh, machine gunner two in the northwest tower. Uh, hits Robbie with a burst. That's going to hurt even a robot. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so Robbie's, Robbie's taken, taken, well, Robbie's wounded. Not Robbie, sorry, not Robbie, Rainy. Rainy is taken. And he's wounded, so I have to take the wounded penalty for, for him from now on. Uh, now, uh, the other machine gunners. Hang on a sec. All right. So the two, the two at the northeast and north, the two machine gunners to the northwest, effectively don't do anything. The ones to the south east, uh, one jams his machine gun, and the other one misses. So you're all you're okay there. So that's. All right, now the ones you the ones you're worried about. Let's see what they do. One of them spots you guys in the compound. Can we react? You have you have actions up your sleeves, so yes. All right, I'll go ahead and shoot. Okay, which one? I'm off the floor. I am sh a grenade. No, he's throwing grenades. You're putting, gr you're putting a grenade up there, are you? Yeah. Okay. Grenade. Is that how I always start combat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's is it? pretty much it. That's Cerise. All right. Well, it's 35 meters. It's just under 35 meters, mate. All right. Not a problem for a gra grenade launcher on your gyro jet rifle, right? Exactly. All right. Well, it's 35 meters, and soft cover. Um, is the target stationary? No. Are you aiming, what are you aiming at? The guys or the tower? I'm I'm trying to drop it into the into the walking part of the tower. Yeah, no, you can't take the stationary for that one, mate. Sorry, no. That's okay. I just want to get it right. Yeah, no, that's cool. You all want to get it right. I miss. 
Uh, okay, that well, we now need to work out exactly where it's gone, but hang on a sec. So uh, I need a D8 and um, well, what range were you at? Um, short. Okay, it goes long. At short range, how... So, it, would someone, I'm in the middle of something. Can someone quickly look up on the web page? Um, grenade, throw, uh, grenades gone long. Grenades out of grenade, out of grenade launcher gone long. It's in the equipment page. I think you'll find. If it's not there, it'll be in the combat section. Grenade launchers. It might be under grenades, not grenade launchers. Um, so what are you looking for exactly? The how far it goes, bounce? the bounce. Yeah. How far? How far it scatters? Can't find it? Uh, I'm still looking. It's all right. Well, well is there anything in range? Grenade bounces. Grenade bounces. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the grenade bounces. One, Got it? 1d8 to determine the direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our distance depends on how far it was thrown. Um, if it was short, then 5 meters. Medium, five then meters. 10 meters. Right. Um, 5 meters. 40 meters. Yeah, no. Um, the grenade, the grenade misses the tower and bounces just outside, just outside the fence line, um, outside of range. So no, no good on that one, I'm afraid, mate. If you're trying to get into the well. Yep. Yeah. So no, no good. That's that's your action. Anyone else got a hold a held action they want to take? I think Cat uh, did. Yeah. No, uh, Cat didn't it. have one because she cleared a rifle, I believe. That's right. That's, that's right. Uh, Jazz. Okay. Jazz does. Jazz does? Yep, so um, I'll be taking, so t we'll try to shoot the, the guard that noticed us. Which was guard two, which is machine gunner two, in the southwest tower. All right, should I try to target it in the, tr in the tracker? Uh, there's no, there's no advantage to it. Okay, so that's, is it gonna be soft or hard cover on this one? Uh, soft cover. Careful aim. Uh, short range. And I think that's all the fires. Well, that's a hit. Yay. All right. Um, uh, my rifle damage got feared. Uh, it was set for you, was it 5 to 10 wasn't it set to, or was it set higher? Uh, no, it's always set in 10. Oh, okay. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that's it for Jazz. What was it at? Oh, 50 points, thank you. 50, yep. Uh, that's... I think that's enough to kill him. Yeah, that's enough to kill him. See, you should not pay attention as a guard. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not in the okay. job description. That's not in the job description. Okay, so that's, it. that's everybody, I think, unless there's any other held action, which the only one I can think of would be Babu, I think. Babu, but yeah, Babu's not going to be able to close any distance at all to do anything there. Okay, okay so you're not doing anything? Uh, nope, nope. Okay, so let's go on to the next round, uh, which means... No, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, so, yeah, um, can we get uh, you know, next round? That's the one I want. 
Uh, can we get initiative off everybody, off, off everybody, please? So, eight for Vogue. Uh, Eleven for Cat. I'm not going to roll issues for bad guys and, uh, and, unless and, unless it's going to make a, a real difference. Um, okay. Okay. So uh, Doc got a twelve. Uh, Cerise got a twelve. And Jazz got a fifteen. Nice thing about Jazz, he always manages to get decent initiatives. Uh, Babu got a five, and that's what Babu normally gets. And Cat got an eleven. I got you, didn't I, Cat? All right. So Raimi and the two robots got uh, same and same. Um, the northeast machine gunner and the two northeast machine gunners, I should say. There's two of them left. Uh, got uh, uh, um, five, sorry, and the two in the southeast tower got got seven and eleven. And the two in the southwest tower, one of which is dead. Ah. Um, <coughs> well, uh, got okay. Now, uh, hang on a sec. Yep, yeah, right, that's where it goes. Good thing. The first time. We're only in round two, technically. Actually, we're in round three, technically. Let's advance that by one. This is indeed the boom round. Jazz. I'm not sure if the boom goes at the beginning or the end. It goes at the end. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so presumably the guy standing next to the one we just shot dead is now aware of our presence. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. So, so Jazz will take a take a shot at that guy. Okay. Uh, come on, short range. Thirty-five, thirty-five soft, thirty-five meters soft cover. <laughs> oh, just under. Oh, just enough. Ten D thing. He's got forty-five stamina points, so that's what you're looking for. Looking to beat. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Not anymore. He doesn't. You're a bloody sniper, aren't you? Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, and hit yeah, you. Have you got the combat tracker open? Um, yes. You don't have to, but if you have, hit the, hit the end turn button at the bottom when you finish with it. All Three. right. Reload. Okay. Doc. Okay, I believe I'm helping Volk to reload clear some sort of death or death dealing device. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> re re reloading on the machine gun. That's okay. On the thing. Okay. Machine gunner one in the southwest tower. That was the one I just killed off. Hang on. Did I just kill him off? Who did I kill off? Northwest, northwest, southeast. Oh, sorry, I killed the wrong guy. And uh, he wasn't that high up. He was only about. Uh, if he was that high up, he was about 11, actually, not 12. So let me just redo that. Cat, it's you. Your turn. All right, uh, the, the one that we were shooting at is dead. Um, Both of them are. Yeah. Uh, so you want to hold, hold your action? 
Yeah, I think she's going to have to do that. Uh, okay. Yep. Hold your action. All right, no worries. End your turn, please. You've got it. You don't have it open this time. Yeah, yeah. Don't have it open. Okay. So Southeast Machine Gunner is going to aim at. Let's see who he aims at. Okay. Uh, he's shooting just general direction of the onrushing um, Lokoku. Lokoku. Um, several of them are wounded, but none of them actually die. Okay. Raimi. Following his previous instructions. Uh, shoots at uh, number two. Hits number two in the northeast tower and does enough damage to kill number two in the northeast tower. Right, that was the guy who was wounded, right? That was the guy who was wounded, yeah. Uh, that was machine gun northeast machine gunner two, which is this guy. He's dead. Robbie, who's firing at his partner in that tower is uh, also hits uh, and wounds machine gunner one in the northeast tower for a small amount of damage um, certainly not enough to make a massive difference to the firing of that guy uh, he fires back at Robbie with a burst and misses Robbie wow I'm Shocked. Voke. All right, Voke uh, takes another shot at at uh, the the north east tower. Still has both gunners, right? No, the northeast tower's only got one gunner. Okay, I'll shoot at the southwest tower then. Okay, go if you like. No, that's the a heavy miss, weapon afraid. mod too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, okay, uh, southeast machine gunner is going to be firing at you now, since you almost tried to kill him. Oh, and hits you. Um, which is going to hurt me or the, the vehicle no you aimed at you and got you uh, does 50 points five zero points of damage um, your an, an, an inertia stream will help a skin suit will help I am looking to see what he normally runs I almost got you with a critical hit. He's done his... Okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. He's done his a little different than standard. Yeah. Okay. Babu? All right, Babu, Babu. Uh, there's been no boom yet. Uh, he'll have to hold too. Okay. Uh, and the other two, the other two gunners are going. The, other, the two gunners in the Northwest Tower are, are uh, uh, at the moment doing things which don't really occur for, for you guys. Um, so let me just do that and do that and do that. That's supposed to clear those. Why hasn't it cleared those? Hmm, interesting. Um, uh, and there's a uh, there's a boom at the end of the uh, at the end of the round. Can you roll me the damage? Thank you. A bomb. No, 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 don't just hold, please, cat. I know you're keen, Ben, but just wait a <laughs> sec. Uh, could you roll me the damage for the? Thank you. So it's that. It's 128 total. 
128 total. Yeah, it's enough to take the wall down. There's a there's a, a gap in the a gap in the wall uh, where you set the charge. Uh, those people who held their actions, what do you want to do? Run up to the hole and try and surprise anyone on the other side, or what? Pretty uh, that that would be Babu's plan. He'd be pretty. Um, he's pretty keen to get in there and crack skulls. But he couldn't run that far anyway. He, he at best but he's how running in. Uh, well, okay. Well, the, the the people with the the people who held with a higher initiative were going to go first anyway. So that would be, um, uh, yeah. Um, I think Babu, Cerise, and Jazz, Jazz, and Cerise, and Cat, and Babu, in that J order. Jazz, Jazz had fired and and a shot. Yeah. Him. Oh, you had to. Okay. All right. So, uh, Cat, you held, and Cerise held. Who's got the higher base initiative modifier? Uh, yeah. Cats is plus five. And what's your Cerise? Oh, I think I'm a three. I'm looking it up. Wow. Okay. Jazz, go I for your base initiative. Okay, Jazz, you're first then. What do you want to do? You want to try and run? Sorry. Cat, you first. You want to run in or not? Yeah, she can run, run 40. 40. Uh, so it's, it's eight That's eight squares. Yeah, so, okay. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five to the wall, and one to one to climb through. Okay, and that that that'll be your move on the other side if you want to get through the the the, the 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 thing. Which way do you want to face? Uh, that way's fine. Okay. Uh, don't forget you put more, you put five people in the same square because it's they're five minute squares. Yep. Cerise, again, you can make that. I'm sure. Uh, I've maybe. got a movement of twenty six, so five squares. So I should be just inside and One, I'll face two, the other three, way. Four. Okay, so you'll face, let me, let me change that direction to start with. Let me zoom in, it's going to be easier. <coughs> okay, uh, and Babu, how far can you run? Babu <laughs> can run 30. Which is uh, six pressure. squares. Yeah. You, run, you, you can run 30, and how far can you run, Jazz? Uh, uh, Cerise? 26. I told you I'm not the fastest. Wow. That's... I walk fast, but I don't run fast. Well, okay. All the uh, different races have different modifiers for walking. Yeah, but if I recall. Uh, how, how far do you want to, um, how far, which way do you want to face, Babu, when you get on the other side? Uh, I, he would get in and I guess uh, he sees Cat and Cerise facing different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, that's where you're facing, Cerise? I'm facing, no, Cerise I'm facing other. east, and Cat is facing west. Okay. But uh, I'm assuming you can go to that square. No, yeah, not yeah. that square, you can't. Isn't that Same six for him? Yeah, no, but if you've got to climb through the, got to climb through the, through the okay. wall. So, you're in the same square as Cat and, Cat and that. No, same square as Cat and that. So which way do you want to face? That way. He'll face west. Yep. Okay. Which is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, that's, that's everyone who held. So uh, let's get some initiatives off everybody, please. Um, now, be, right before you do, right before you start deciding what you want to do, I've got to put some more people on the, on the, um, on the thing. Alright, out of the double doors, uh, this is at the end of last round, and this is for uh, Vokes and, and Perro's main benefit. Um, the set of double door, a set of double gates that you think might be vehicle opposite the main steel gate, um, they open, and over the course of this entire this entire round, um, twelve guards, six humans, and six Yazirians pour out that door 
up that ladder and onto the roof and go prone on the roof facing to the east in firing positions with weapons. Okay? Okay. So there's 12, there's 12 guys here on top of that roof. Okay? So let me That's just, let me just add them. Let me just add them to the, let me just add them to the, um, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I won't bother adding them to the map. I'll just add them to the combat tracker. We'll add them to the map when they become ne when it becomes necessary. Okay. So. So six humans and six Yuzerians. Okay. Mhm. Mm A lot of fun. Right. Again, I'll roll an issue if it's necessary. I'll roll an issue for one when I get a ten. Um, now, uh, so uh, that's the start of the round, guys. Can I get an issue off everybody, please? Uh, you've got them, except for Babu. Oh, have I? Uh, you rolled earlier. Babu got an eleven. He rolled too early. Mm. Oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, got a fourteen. Jazz got an eleven. Not like you, Jazz. Cat yep. got a 12. That's definitely not like you. 12. Uh, Cerise. 12. Can't find you. Can never find you. Don't know why. It's the new uh, dark whoever. token. That's what it is. That got a 7. I'm looking for the old one. I can't find it. That's okay. Um, now, the 12 guards. I'm going to roll once for everybody. Got a, an 11. Actually, I won't bother rolling because they're all they're, they're, they're spending the whole round streaming up. So I'm, I'm not going to roll for uh, all of them. Okay, um, and they won't get a chance to act anyway this round. Uh, the uh, northeast machine gunners, because I'm going down the list. Uh, got a, and they're not actually northeast machine gunner. Got a uh, an eleven. Uh, the Northwest Machine Gunners don't count because they're doing things. The Southeast Machine Gunners got a uh, and a and Rainy. The two robots oh, got a and. A who have I missed? Anybody? Not yet. Uh, so um, we'll start with Doc. Okay, so Voke just got smacked, right? Uh, Voke just took a took a took a shot, and he's uh, yeah. You can either help reload. You can either re you can either reload his thing, or you can heal him, I suppose. Well, if given a choice, I prefer to heal him. But is that going to stop him from taking any action? Nope. I'll just reload. Uh, well, no, time. but no. Uh, oh, you'll set, you'll spend a turn reloading where you evoke. Is that what you're going to be doing? Yeah, I'd rather get healed. 
Okay, first aid then. Go for your life. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're cool. rattled by the com <laughs> rattled by the combat, obviously. Yeah. All right. So ten points. Yep. Have you and the machine gunner? See, this machine gunner, who was firing at the uh, firing at the um, uh, general onslaught again, fires at the general onslaught. Uh, Cerise, that comes down to you at the moment. Um, I'm gonna t turn the corner looking. Okay, you know, turn the corner looking north, you can do that. Uh, you see nothing, nobody in the corridor, if that's what you're looking for. And I gesture, it's clear this way. Okay, cat. Uh, cat. All right, uh, cat has been gestured. Uh, crap, hang on. Something very funny is happening to my computer, uh, and I keep yeah. losing my mouse. Does that happen to anybody else in Windows? No. Hmm. Interesting. Gremlins. Uh, give me a sec. Yep, yep, it's okay. Alright, cool. Back. You're all good. Uh, yeah, yeah. She'll move up around Ceres and just uh, walking speed. Hit is ten. So what's that? Five squares. Yeah, if you want to walk that far. Two squares. Five meters per square. Ah, uh, five five meters per square. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, so let me zoom in and grab Cat. It's weird when we're all in the same square. Um, yeah, you might have to zoom, or uh, you might have to move whoever's on top and then move them back. I guess she would be, like, I'm going to put her there, but she'll be, like, a bit closer to Ceres, I guess. So okay. she's got a bit of cover. Hiding behind my shell. Yeah. <laughs> And hang on, I just need to make a couple more rolls here for various reasons. Avoiding a shellacking. Uh, and... And hang on, just sorry, I'm, this is being a pain I know, but... It's okay. Ha 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 ha. Um. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you finished your turn? Yep. Uh. Yep. Yes. All right. Uh. So, uh, Robbie. Uh, Robbie was firing at uh, machine gunner, northeast machine gunner one. Well, I think he's still alive. Yes, he is. So Robbie's going to take another shot at it, at, at that particular dude. Uh, and hits for uh, enough to kill him. Excellent. Yeah, so I guess Ramey's now shooting at the uh, southeast. Uh, you you haven't ordered him to. You were doing first aid on your partner. Indeed, I was. 
in Degua. Uh, so the Southeast Machine Gunner. Hang on, I've got two Southeast Machine Gunners. It must be number two then, not number one. I must have, yeah, I did. I renamed him wrong. Sorry. Uh, Southeast Machine Gunner um, uh, is firing at you guys again. Uh, only you guys have ducked down behind out of the way to get healed uh, and are reloading, so he's going to change his target to uh, uh, Rainy. And hits Rainy. And do and Rainy's been destroyed. R.I.P. Rainy. Destroyed. Uh, where's Rainy down here? Let's get rid of Rainy. Uh, and Babu. What are you doing? All right. Uh, he has heard uh, Cerise kind of give the all clear around the corner. Yeah. Cat poked her head around and also didn't say anything. Uh, so he's probably going to uh, race around. Mm -hmm. What is that arrow for, Cerise? Weren't we going to split up? Cerise and Cat were going north and you and Jazz were going to clear the inner offices. But if you don't remember that, go whichever way. Mm. Come on, quickly. Yeah, okay, Quick yeah. Good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll start walking that way and allow Jazz to catch up, because, okay. yeah, Jazz is not there yet. So, he's got 7.5. Uh, so that'll Which give is... him... Like, there-ish. Yep. Next, make sure you get your facings right, thank you, gentlemen. Because uh, it may have an effect. Uh, so, if you're, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, so, Jazz, you're up. Alright, uh, Jazz will run in instead of running. Well, he's dead. Eight. Eight, uh, you're pretty soft there. Um, Jazz just. Uh, runs in um, and moves up next to Jazz. Uh, next up to uh, Babu. Okay. Can you make it that far? I think you can. Which way are you facing? The right way. <laughs> um, and that's your turn. Okay. Um. Sorry, just give me a sec. I need more screen real estate. Never enough. Yeah, never enough. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, God, I need more real estate. Oh wow, I can't do that. Okay.
Okay. That guy... You got him? That guy comes around the corner uh, from the from down, you know, southwards. Clearly mm -hmm. a no-good Nick. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, fires his laser rifle at Babu uh, at point blank range. And misses. Which is annoying. Nice. Um, his partner also comes around, you know, and fires uh, also at Babu. Doesn't like Babu, apparently. As humans don't like Velocite. There you go. Uh, and misses as well. Look at that. I wow. had a perfect shot at you. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Voke, you're up. All right, so uh, does is, can Voke reload, or does he have to just get first aid? No, he can be relay, relay why he's getting first aid. Surgery's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay. So he he reloads the rifle. Okay. We call this rifle. Okay. Um, now that's going to be other people. Um, okay. In addition, in addition to... Dooby 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 doo. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I'm right. I think I'm ready. I think I'm okay. Okay, can I get initiatives off everybody, please, as we start the new round? So, uh, on the roof, uh, 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 12, uh, six humans and six Yazirians all firing towards the diversion. Uh, in the hallway are two humans, um, and uh, yeah. Whoops, started too soon. Yeah, okay, don't worry. So, uh, everybody rolled an issues for me, or have they yet? They're all there. I can yeah. read them to yeah, you if you want. No, that's cool. I've just got to clear this. There we go. We're all clear. Okay, so, Babu got a 13. Is that right? Yep. Yep. And then Cerise, uh, Cerise got a 7. 
Uh, jazz, 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 got a 16. Uh, Doc got a 12. Cat got a, an 8. And Voke got a 9. Is that right? Right, so at this stage, hang on. This is not, don't start yet, Jess. I'm just getting myself prepared. I need more real estate. Uh, the guards, 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 guards. I won't roll for them because they're just going to be firing at the general. They're going to be firing at the oncoming onslaught of uh, La Cure, so we don't have to worry about them at the moment. Okay. Uh, and the guys. And don't forget Robbie. Okay, so we are right. To he's he's going to keep on attacking the tower until you tell him otherwise. That northeast tower until you tell him otherwise. Okay. So let's get started. Jazz, you're up. You are up first. All right. Jazz is going to take his two shots from his laser rifle. Um, okay. So. Uh, it's what shot. ten less than ten meters, so it's point blank. Yep. And which one you That'd aiming be, at? Uh, NG one for now. The one that's closer. Yeah, NG one. That should be okay. So um, <laughs> um, now is that enough to kill him? Uh, yes, NG1 you've killed. Yeah, you've shot him dead. Oh, Scratch no, you haven't, sorry. No, no, you haven't. You haven't. He takes zero damage. <laughs> He's got an no, screen. hang on. He's got an albedo screen, yes. It's obvious right. he's got an albedo screen. Um, so how many, you did, hang on, you did, uh, how many energy points? That's nine. Um, nine. That's nine points. Yeah, I've got to record that. Um, nine S E U off the belt pack, and um, thing and five off the rifle. All and right. he's taking so five off the rifle as well. So then for Jazz's second shot, second yeah. shot. Yes. Uh, fire. Go fire at NG two. Uh-huh. Which is one you just fired at, wasn't it? No. Which is the other one. The other one, right, sorry. Count that. Put that in there. Four. Forty-six points. Which is uh Which again ten. Uh, uh, ten. Ten SEU off the belt pack. And then when Jazz sees that um they've got albedo screens, he gets a yes. bit mad. He gets a bit mad. Yeah. But not mad enough. But not mad. <laughs> I, wonder what you were I wonder what you were, where you were going. Okay, if you've had your, if you've had your turn to, okay, um, the the door to the north opens, and uh, this guy uh, comes out, uh, sees you guys, uh, and. Uh, He's not taken by surprise, so he takes a snapshot with his um, electro stunner at Babu. Uh, that should be point blank range, I believe. 
Uh, don't, the electro stunner. No, it's I, not. It's, it's, a, it's pretty, short range. Pretty short, yeah. Yeah, it's that. It's short range. Not it is only short range. So the minus two to his attack. Uh, minus two to his ta attack. Um, range weapon. There it is. Um, minus ten, so not minus two. Oh, would have hit if it had been point blank range, but misses. Cool. Uh, uh, Electro stunner does takes four, doesn't he? Uh, four SEU Electro Stunner. Okay. Robbie it will fire at the tower. That's his third shot to Okay. Babu, your 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 go. Oh, by the way, you guys can see further individuals behind Goon One, who's coming out of that office. Whoa, balls! And Babu would be able to see that, even though it's just, yeah, okay. Sorry, just reaction. Yeah, he can see. It's off his left, but yeah, he can see that. So, what do you want to do, guys? Babu should yell out to Swiss and Cat. Oh, I yeah. think you would have heard the shots, and the oh, grunts, and the, and the and the and the and the rage-inducing, ju inducing um, uh, yell from um, from from um, Chaz. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so in that case, what Babu's going to do is he will. Oh, hang on. He'll jump to there, knowing... Because he would have an appreciation that the albedo screens are there and that Jazz can't take these guys out, right? Not with his laser pistol, not laser rifle, yeah. Yeah, cool. So he'll be moving there, so he'll get out of the way of Jazz in, engaging Goon 1 and whoever else is coming, and then he'll swing his mighty force axe at NG1. Okay, so, sorry, sorry. So you're actually going to there, are you, to get in the melee? Yeah. Don't forget yep. they're five metre squares. So. Ah, yeah, yeah, good point, yeah. But yeah, he'll yeah, be engaging with that guy. Goon 1, uh, not Goon 1, uh, NG1. NG1. Yeah. So he, he'll nuclear, have his nuc rifle nuclear, in melee penalties. Yeah, nuclear score. Guard 1, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, gotcha. Because <laughs> he was guarding, he was guarding, well, he was guarding the, nu he was guarding the nuclear reactor. So Nuclear yep. Guard 1. I've got to distinguish him somehow. <laughs> All right, so you want, you, you, you want to have your swing? Oh yeah, that hits. <laughs> All right, I think I think NG one's not in a good not in a good way. That is woeful 22. damage. <laughs> it's <Four>. very woeful. <laughs> Twenty-two damage. Uh, he's got more. Than, he's wounded. He's counted as complete. He's counted as wounded. But yeah, not happy. <laughs> um. If, uh, you finished your turn? Okay. Nuclear Guard 2 is going to shoot at Jazz. Ranged weapon, short range. Uh... No, that's a miss as well. God, he's, I'm not, you guys might just survive this. <laughs> what did he shoot? You. I mean, what weapon did he fire? Oh, laser rifle. Yeah. But he's not in melee. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, uh, this guy comes out. Again, he's ready for you, and he's going to fire at Jazz again, and he's got an auto pistol in his hand, so he's going to fire um, off 
full burst at you. And that hits. Uh, that's 21 points of damage. Again, sand suits and inertia screens will protect you against that. Okay. Doc! Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, instruct what remains of Robbie to focus his attention on the southeast tower. Robbie's undamaged. Oh, okay. At this point, well, at this point in time. Suppressing fire at the southeast tower. All right. Now, um... Nuclear, go nuclear Guard 1... Drops his rifle, drops his laser rifle, and pulls out a pair of vibro knives. A pair. No, pulls of out a pulls pulls out a vibro knife. Okay. Pulls out a vibro knife. Okay. And prepares to and prepares to attack. Um. This guy. Whoops. Sorry. This guy uh, fires his needler pistol at Jazz. They don't like oh. you, Jazz. You notice? That's okay. That yeah. won't do anything to Jazz. Why? Because Jazz has got what? The skin suits protect against needles. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So he'll, he'll obviously he'll fire at anyway. Uh, hits, but you're right, the skin suit protects. Um, and so, uh, um, instead of taking more shots, he uh, quickly holsters his um, his uh, needle of pistol and draws out draws out a stun stick. And obviously goes to make goes to move forward. Voke, you've got your thing reloaded, I believe. Yep. So he uh, takes a shot at the southeast tower. Okay. Oh, that's 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 going to hit. That at fifteen the tower. dice is that right? Uh, yeah, fifteen dice. Uh, twelve yes. for the twelve. Sorry, rifle. yeah, no. Yeah. What's the fifteen for the rockets? Is it? The rockets, yeah. Mm. Smaller but more powerful. 69 points of damage. That's not going to do anybody any good. Suppressing uh, fire. Certainly kills, <laughs> certainly kills uh, both, uh, both of the machine gunners in that tower, which were machine gunners, which were machine gunners south, south east, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that one's gone, and that one's gone. And then can Voc order the robot to? Uh... No. Nope. Okay. Nope. No. Nope. No. It's a full. It's a full thing to command the robots. I'm afraid. Okay. Yeah. Will the uh, recoilless so... rifle take out the gate? How sturdy That's is this gate? Damn good. Qu well, uh, mm, 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 mm. we just blew a hole uh, in the wall with a uh, hundred points of 120 points of. Explosive yeah, but, yeah, damage. But, the, but the wall, the walls are plastic steel. The 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 actual gates are actually steel steel. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, fair. I was thinking to target the uh, fuse box. Yep, that would have been my next suggestion. Mhm. Mm but I would have the robot uh, shoot at the guys on the roof. Yeah. Just okay, a much smaller talk. target to hit with a recoilless rifle. Yeah, but you'll do more damage if you, you know. 
But you got, you got, I think you got four shells left, so use them wisely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is that your turn, Vag? Yeah. Cat. All right. You Kat don't know. Has heard you, you heard. You've heard combat behind you. You don't know about the the three, the two goons and the second and the second lieutenant. You only know about NG one. You only know there's someone behind you. When you turn around, you'll see NG one in in melee combat with uh, Babu and another guy past him with a laser rifle. You don't know about the albedo screens. Yeah. Uh, but she has heard. She's heard firing, so she would kind of guess that there might be someone behind yes. there. Oh, you yes. know someone's yeah. behind there. You know there's you know there's combat behind you, but you don't know. That's all you know. Yeah. Okay. Jazz, Jazz can yell out two words, right? Uh, on his turn, but he saw he had his turn, hadn't he? Okay, so and you were try yeah, and he said you tried okay. to go you tried to go rage from memory, which would yeah, have yeah, taken yeah. up. I'm the, just not sure if he could yell action. a couple words out of turn. No, not really. That's that's okay. pushing it. It's only six second rounds, and yeah, these guys. Th these I, I'm playing it so these guys can't. Yeah, otherwise these guys would have been alerted a lot earlier. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um. With her movement, uh, she's got a walk of 10 and a run of 30, so she's probably mm -hmm. going to have to run to get to anywhere. To do what? Well, oh. I mean, I think in my head, her aim would be to... Go to there and take a shot at, in, at, at, at guard too. That w I think that's that's what she'd feel would be the the best thing. Yeah, I do be. too. Yeah, I do too. Is that, is that what you're going to do? It's a question. Yeah, yeah, that'll be what she does. All right. Well, don't forget you don't forget the penalty for running when you shoot when you take your shot. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And we'll call that about twelve. We'll call that twelve meters or so. So, um, that's still point blank range, I think. For yeah, a laser for, rifle, for an isn't? auto rifle. Yeah. For an auto rifle, that's right. Yeah, yep. no, it's, right. it's, it's, no, it's just, it's just outside point blank range. It's just gone to short. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so here's a question. Mm -hmm. um, the albedo screen emits a silvery aura. Uh, is that something yes. Cat would be able to see? Now that she's looking, looking at it, yes. Okay. But she was looking at it to start with. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's all my modifiers. Um, Let's see. We'll see what you roll. Let's go. <laughs> Running, rain. Yeah, that's all the modifier. Yeah, and you still managed to hit. Yes. Uh, I <laughs> what do you manage to hit? What do you manage to hit with? Uh the auto rifle. So one shot. Single I don't know. Shot? You want? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't want, she, I you don't want, think you, she can do a burst when she's running. You can. Yeah. But, but the, the, I'm looking at this. You'll probably take it. You'll probably take out Babu in that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But if, want, she, you, if she, she can yeah. she take want, all three shots? Yeah, at the same penalties. Yes. Yeah. And the burst would undoubtedly hit Abu as well. Is that oh, where almost we're at? certainly? Yes. Yeah, okay, so she'll take three individual shots. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to put the uh, plus 20 on these, I'll just roll them normally. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, well, that's a, yep, that's the second one hit. And the third one? Uh, Ooh, the almost. third one. That one just misses. No, that one just misses. So, uh, 2d10 for damage, please, mate. And that was against Goon NG2, sorry. Ten points. Okay, and that's your turn done. I'll do that for you. Uh, okay, and finally, Cerise. All right, Cerise, uh, uh, grenade in hand, opens and looks in that door. If I see anything but oh, in which, sorry, which door?
Does that All make right, it so clear? Uh, that door there. Yeah, 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 that door there. Thank you. You're opening that door. That'll be the... Uh, if you can open that door. Hang on a sec. Just make sure you can. Uh, that's the... Uh-huh. And the... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, just a quick second, please. It's a barracks and there's 20 guards staring at me. Yep. Just like Han Solo. I got a bad feeling about this. Um, you open the door, it appears to be a dining hall. Uh, there are four long tables, uh, each flanked by a pair of benches. Uh, there's an automatic kitchen standing at the far end, and there are four maintenance service robots. Um, one of them moves, starts moving towards you going, can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> I say no and close the door. Okay. And is that your turn? It is. Um, okay. Um, yep, that's there it is. Okay. Let me clear the um, let me clear the combat tracker. Okay, I'll put move that up there just so that I can put it somewhere. And you guys can roll me initiatives, please. We'll do one more round of combat, and then we'll see how things are going, okay, about calling it for the day. Is that okay with everybody? Sure. Yeah. That sounds fine. Because we've, we've been going for four hours. Right on four hours. Okay. So vote got a six. Vote got a six. Vote got a six. And Doc got a 14. Doc got a 14. And Cerise got an 11, Cerise got an 11, and Jazz got a 12, and Cat got an 11. You, you guys are going all right with it, and she was just a little bit higher, and you'd be, it'd be a lot better for you, and Babu, especially for you, Babu. <laughs> and Babu got a 6. It wouldn't be right if Babu was high on the initiative order. <laughs> oh, why not? Okay, let's do these guys. Um, the lieutenant, first lieutenant, got a uh, a nine, and the second lieutenant got a fifteen, uh -huh. You guys are screwed at the moment. Uh, I won't do the I still won't do the guards outside because um, again they're shooting at the things. Um, I will do. Uh, I will do the two goons because they're right in front of you um i don't know whether the bad guys would be able to see this but uh what? and if they'd care but uh know that cat has a sonic knife on the end of her rifle uh, as a bayonet as a bayonet so if yes, they want to engage in melee they'll get that to the face uh yep okay so that, that's your that's your melee <laughs> weapon obviously yeah 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 that's fine you nasty person you uh and the two uh oh god that was terrible only the nasties survive uh -huh. babu actually might survive this <laughs> oh and robbie almost forgot robbie 
who's only going on a nine, which means you guys might actually be able to order him to change targets before he has anything else goes wrong. Uh, all the guards, all the guards. Oh, now I've got to do these as well, um, because the machine gunners in the tower have uh, managed to finally get their guns reorganised. So um, in the remaining tower, so that's. Okay, so the second lieutenant goes first, which is this guy. Now he was aimed, he was armed with, I forgot what he was armed with. Um, he was armed with... I think he had the auto, auto pistol. He did have the auto pistol, but he's actually going to throw a frag grenade. Oh, rip. And he's going to aim... So what's the frag grenade range? It's six meters, which is one square. So let me, let me just let me just put a targeting circle on the map. He's going to aim for there. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fair. Well, of course it's fair. I know. If Cat doesn't die, if Cat doesn't die, they're going to get a burst, and it's going to be fun. But that's well, they're not within two meters of each other. No, but two of the them two are. Goons are at sure, this surely two time. of them are. Yeah, two of them are. Yeah. The two goons are, but the lieutenant's not. Um, sorry, actually, been percentiles. Let me try that again. Oh God, no, that's a miss and a half. Um, five, ten, twelve meters or so. You agree with that? Oh, as in the distance? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, about, yeah, that's yeah, fine. That puts it at medium range medium range it's going to go uh, long and to the right which basically means up this corridor up this corridor this way um, and it's going to go how many meters it's going to go uh, 10, meters. 10 meters so it's going to go 5 10 It blows up nothing. You're out of range, aren't you? Glad. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm just going to park that over there because I'm there saying it's we're going to somebody's going to throw another grenade sooner or later. So you missed with a grenade, which is annoying because I wanted to get both of you. That would have been ideal. Okay, well we're going to order Robbie for some suppressing fire towards the guards on the roof. Okay, and are you reloading as well? Can I do both? Yep, you can do both. Okay, then I'll do that. Not a problem. This guy comes out that door, takes one look at Cerise, and fires his Gyrojet rifle at you three times. Uh, oh. The good news is, it's medium range. First shot. Misses, but only just. Second shot. Uh, that's a hit. And the third shot. is a miss. Only got you once. Uh, go, 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 go jet right. 2d10. Yep. Just looking up to make sure I had my memory right. Uh, and does 12 points of damage to you. Uh, again, inertia screens and inertia uh, and skin suits will, will pre prevent the damage. It's two points of power for each hit with an inertia? Yes, that's correct. Jazz? All right. Um, seeing the goons and the second lieutenant come out, uh, can Jazz tell if they have a that silvery aura about them? Uh, that's a damn good question. Um, the lieutenant does. The goons do not. All right. So the so Rusk then... does. The Rusk does. The human and the Dwellersite do not. 
All right, we'll take. Uh, so then Jazz will take two shots then towards the goons. Um, okay, which one? First, first or you shot. Split them? Will, no, 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 will... no, 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 no. Are you going to split them or are you going to shoot shoot one uh, one or the other? Oh, you have to predetermine. Um, then we'll just yes, shoot uh, one the first shot at the human, second shot at the at human. The... Yeah, first one at the human, second one okay. at the java site. All right. So um, whatever the range is, um, there's no you're in. There's no cover for anyone. Uh, so it's a minus, It's simply a minus ten on this on the second shot for the drama site for changing targets. Okay. Okay. So the uh, first shot will be. Oh, there's. I think there's short range. So first shot at the human. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Well. Um, maybe. That's just normal damage right there. Yeah, 60. <laughs> uh, no, none of that. No, no, okay, that's. Uh, um, I think he's. No, he's not dead. Now, you got goon one or goon two? Goon uh, one. The human. The, hu the one yeah, that's no, closest. He's not, he's, he's not. Unless he's taking damage from something else. What about uh, the crit? Yeah, yeah, what does crit do? 126 damage. Oh, he yeah, doubled the damage. I thought it was a crit. Yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what? We've got, like, superhumans here with, like, 130 stamina. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, he's dead. Let me take him out. Hang on, let me take him off. Goon 1 is dead. Goon 2? <sighs> Alright, so does this still take the extra minus 10? Yes, it still takes the extra minus 10. Because you changed so the you got to get 55. So I'm going to put in short range twice. Yeah, that'll I'll take it. That's still a Very hit. Very nice. Not a, not a crit. That's goon two. Forty-nine. What did goon two? Hang on. What did goon two use on you last time? He used the needler. Yeah. And he pulled out a stun stick. Yeah. So and he's he pulled got a out stun a stun stick. stick. Yep, yep. Yeah. And he's taken forty-nine points of damage. That's not enough to kill him. He's probably wounded, though. I hope. Uh, yeah, he's wounded. Yeah, yes, he's definitely wounded. Yeah, he's definitely wounded. All right. Cerise. All right. Uh, the grenade I have in my hand, I'm going to throw at the uh, captain. Okay, exactly at the captain? Yes. Right, okay. Uh, so that's 10 meters, which is... Short. Um... Short range, yeah. So it'll go ten meters if you miss. No, it won't. It'll go five minutes if you miss. That's not a miss. It's not a crit, but it's not a miss. And so you land it right on the captain. Uh, and and is what it was, eight? I think it's eight dice, it's right? Just, what is it? What sort of grenade is it? Frag. Yeah, frag. It's, yeah, it's an eight, uh, eight yes. to ten damage. Please. Thirty six points of damage. Less any defenses he happens to have. Okay, he takes no damage from the inertia stream. Doesn't inertia do half? Oh half sorry, he takes half damage from the inertia stream. And then half damage from the skin suit underneath. So he takes quarter damage. What's a quarter of 36? 18, nine. 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 Okay, so the captain takes nine damage. Nine. The skin suit takes nine. And the uh, 18 inertia, two points for inertia? Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, and so uh, two SEU from his uh, where's he got it hooked up to? He's got it hooked up to his backpack. All right, and I'll back up five meters. Okay, yep, I can, I'll let you do that. Uh, it's the end of your turn. Let me advance that for you, Cat. 
All right. Um, now you 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 still don't know anyone is out to your off to your left uh, flank, but you do know a grenade has come that way from that direction. <laughs> well, he saw he saw Jash shooting that way. <laughs> yeah, you see Jash shooting that way. Yeah, I, knowing spots. that Jazz is shooting that way and a grenade came from that way, uh, she'll move to the corner. Okay, uh, that'll give you partial cover, soft cover. Yep. Yeah. Maybe half and, a and, half a and, square and, forward. And at that point, she'd see the lieutenant. She would see both the Duralocyte and the Rusk. Yeah, and uh, the Rusk has got a uh, the Rusk has got a um, the Rusk has got an auto pistol in his left hand. It's unusual, but they are ambidextrous, so don't worry about that. Uh, and the goon, and the uh, the Duralocyte has a stun stick in his right hand, and he's wearing a skin suit. In fact. Um, they're both wearing skin suits. It's obvious, they're military skin suits. In fact, everybody's wearing a military skin suit. It's obvious. <laughs> Just saying. Tag, what are you doing, Cap? You taking a shot at somebody? Ah, oh, crap. I was... I keep pressing... The no, push to talk, talk button to on my other yeah. computer. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Way. She, she would want to put a burst on the lieutenant then. On the lieutenant, okay. Yep. Ah, uh, because she would, she would get an idea that he's got an albedo screen, so Jazz can't put the kill on. But How do you know he's got an albedo screen? We've been, it's been it's said that. So we can no, see yeah. The sh yeah, the shimmer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you can see the shimmer. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. I'll give you that. Uh, Go on. Uh, does that include your burst? Yes, it yes. does. That's that's. I'm asking. So you hit. So roll me five d ten, please. And you'd be twenty six points. Holy less moly, that's pathetic skin damage. Suit. That's yeah. thirteen points. Thirteen points to lieutenant to the second lieutenant. I only did eleven more with three more dice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, what did I say? You do. 13 points, and the skin suit takes 13. Right! And don't forget to take the ammo off. You must be running very low. Yeah, let me just... Uh, that clip now has six bullets in it. Which is a burst and a single shot. Um, so, the uh, machine gun... Ah, no, gunner, a burst is 10, so... Oh, it's only a short burst, is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's only... Uh, I can only do... Basically, three full rounds of fire. Uh, two, yeah, okay. two of the three shots, yep. Two, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so um, now, uh, outside in the compound, um, the Northwest Machine Gunner 1 uh, lines up on um, you guys in the, on the point st uh, sticking out of the uh, broke, in other words. Uh, oh, and gets you well and truly. Um, just how much damage have you got left, mate? Who are you talking to? Voke, 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 Voke. Cat, Voke. Yep. I hit you, I hit Voke with another machine gun burst. How much how much dam how many damage has he got left? Uh, I was looking that up right now. He's got forty six. Uh, forty six. He takes fifty five. Which puts yep. him at minus nine which puts him at minus nine and dying. Unless he can get first aid before the end of next round. Don't you have a skin suit on? Uh, unless he's got a skin suit on. All used up. All used hasn't got an inertial. Hasn't got an inertial, inertial screen. No. Nope. Got an albedo screen. Okay. Got an albedo screen. Um. Yeah. Um. So good thing Doc's. Good thing the Doc's there. I think. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. So that was his go. Uh. This guy uh, pokes his head out the door. Um, that's why I was so excited about the grenade. If you got the grenade right, you would have got both of them. I did get the grenade right. Oh, you yeah, mean if you I didn't? Yeah, if you'd got it just to the left, you would have got him in the because he was on that. He was on the other side of the door, uh, which was still open. Uh, this guy's got a laser rifle, uh, a skin suit, and an albedo screen. 
is he a Dralocyte? He is a Dralocyte. No, yes, he is a Dralocyte, yeah. Um, so, um, he's going to fire his laser rifle at you. I'm okay with that. Um, oh, what? I thought you had your inertia screen, because you didn't take the... And albedo suit. Yeah, you've got the albedo suit. You're only one, you're yeah. the only one with it. You're the only, only, only albedo suit in the, in the, in the thing. Um... Sorry, I'm just looking up the range. Uh, laser rifle, laser rifle, laser rifle. He's going to fire. He's going to fire twice. It's at ten meters, I believe. No, just outside ten meters, which points yeah. out short range. Aren't you lucky? Uh, he's going to fire twice. Ignore that. He's going to fire twice. First time hits. Second time, sorry. Also hits. Uh, yes, also hits. Um, um, the first shot does 39 points. The second shot does, oops, sorry. Second shot does 17 points. The Abida suit takes all that damage, I believe. Yep. And protects you from the lot. But he's damaged. So that's that. Uh, Robbie uh, provides suppressing fire onto the guards onto the, on the roof. Uh, and the second machine gunner, he's going to shoot it uh, from the northwest tower. He's going to shoot at Robbie and misses. Goon two, armed with his stun stick, uh, moves up and basically charges effectively. Uh, b uh, cat and takes a swing at cat with his stun stick. Um, does Cat well, get a snap that's attack? The, that's the question. No, Cat does not get a snap attack. Um, Goon one melee. Yeah, that hits. And... Uh, I want the... Where's the melee table? There it is. And unless you've got some sort of protection, does 14 points of damage, electrical stun damage. Does so Cat have an anti-shock implant? Uh, no. A, a gauze screen or anti-shock implant will, will help. Well, the anti-shock implant will protect against the, will, will help against protect, but it's the gauze, sc gauze screen that really does, does protect. Uh, no. Oh, so what was that? that oh, was hang, on, hang 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 on, sorry. Uh, so yeah, 14 points uh, plus the strength on the punch score. Uh, 18 points, actually. Uh, goons. Fire goons. Add punching score again. Don't they? Oh, bugger. Okay, 14 points then. <laughs> Alright. 14 points then. Uh, and that moves us on to Babu. All right, he's gonna hit the guy that he's engaged with. Hopefully, we he's got it. a seventy-three percent chance of hit, getting that hit. Yeah, well, hopefully, he gets it. <laughs> Wrong bit of damage, please. Another 22 points of damage. Holy moly. So it's 22 to, to the guy and 22 into his skin suit. Yeah. Uh, Voke. Voke 
Luke is unconscious. Bleeding Luke out. Unconscious. Bleeding out. Whoops, sorry. Uh, this guy has a go back at you. This is a guy with the vibro knife. Uh, and misses. And the other nuclear guard is going to shoot at um, Jazz. And misses. That's the end of the round. I mean, let me just check. Guard, 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 guard. Yep, that's the end of the round. I'll clear the uh, combat tracker. And that's a good place to leave it, guys, for the time being. Let me just save these combat notes. Um, let me just clear. Let me just save these combat notes so we don't lose them. Unlike unlike Deadlands. Um, and that's we'll leave it for that for the for the night, guys. I'm, I hope everyone's enjoying it. I hope everyone who's been watching. Um, air has been enjoying it or watches it on YouTube enjoys it. Uh, we'll pick this up in a fortnight's time um, We've got everything ready to go. Everything will be saved by fancy grounds uh, that is saved in my combat notes So I'll get you to play those uh, closing credits, please uh, Please Daniel Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>